live upstate. I kind of like the live upstate. Live it's upstate. cute. <laughs> All right. Can I click this thing? Okay, a retired crown. No, uh, that one you wouldn't have to click. Let's see. No, I just Hello. So you again. Despite my personal uh, feelings yeah, on the matter, it, it seems I will be there forced it. Now just click on that to tell you about them. Uh, well, they definitely do not like people talking about them. Cool. I mean, so, you've seen them, right? Now we just return to Bell Walker. Sure. Nasty little rodents they are. But of course, you can't deny the buggers are brilliant at what they do. If it can be built, then it needs to hurt people. The chur are the ones for the job. And it's just unfortunate that the furry little fiends are certifiable psychopaths. They call themselves the Mordish. I call them weird and creepy. Infected with some kind of disease. That being said, they sure do know a lot about science and alchemy and the like. Although, from what I gather, it's the forbidden kind. Listen. I probably said too much already. I best be off before my mouth really gets me in trouble. I suppose every great empire has a dark, cutely grotesque underbelly. Personally, I do my best to avoid the little demons. I find my life is much easier that way. Oh, not again. And welcome back to the live stream. Sorry about that. We've had some technical difficulties here, so we had to uh, reset some stuff, but we're back. So, uh, Coog, you're yeah. going to give us some details about what's going on on the servers. Give yep. us the situation, man. Sure. Okay. So, to go a little bit fast, because I'm not the talent here, uh, we're we're doing very well for a head start day. Mm -hmm. We have queues. Right. That, that, is a, that is a fact of life. That is good. That is healthy. We definitely do want a little bit of cues to make sure that we have a long-term health of the population. Sure. That once people stop playing for 12 hours a day, because the game is awesome, that we still have a healthy population at, you know, four hours a day. Sure. Two hours a day. Whatever floats your boat. We've got it. So we've got a little bit of cues out there. Of course, Pergo, bad Pergo people. Uh, I have found, I got a cool thing, though. Mm. So a couple of you people might know, but we've got an operation special reward that we give out called the Wrecking Crew. It's a title in game. It's called yeah. the Wrecking Crew. Some of you guys might have seen it in game from your entitlements, from helping out in the stress tests way early in closed beta. Well, as as one would expect, the bad guys have showed up in Wildstar, and some of the bad guys have decided to be good guys and whistleblown on their bad stuff. So we're gonna give out a stress test title, the the Wrecking Crew, to those really stupid good guys that want to give us that little bit of exploitness. But how we're going to do that, I don't know. It's essentially got to impress me, more or less, because it's my title that I give out to people. But we do have the stress test title. You'll see that called the Wrecking Crew. And if you see that, they've either helped out with the stress test or they're helping out now in Head Start trying to allow us to fix some of the bugs that are going out there, maybe the less known exploits that some of the bad guys are using. Sure. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll start seeing that in game even as early as tomorrow for you know this gentleman uh, that helped us out. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Uh, so we've got a hot fix we've been doing today. We've, we've done... A dozen hot fixes behind the scene. We've got one big patch that's coming up later today. I don't have a time yet. It will cause downtime. It'll be about 15 minutes of downtime. Some of the things that we're looking at fixing right now to blitz through them. The bag of awesomeness cannot be reclaimed if a player's lost a bag. Um, so the account services UI, so some of the pre-order benefits that we're fixing. Uh, we've got the blank character select window after waiting in a queue. So this is an important thing to note. If you're in a queue and you get past it, and you're in the server and your server's got a four hour queue or a two hour queue or even a 20 minute queue, if you exit the server for any reason, disconnect, your wife was mad at you and turned it off, not that she would because she's cool. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> you can get back in in two to five minutes and you'll bypass the queue entirely. Cool. Perfect. So right now we've got a bug where if you get through the queue, you're sitting in the queue, you're the next person in the queue, it shows you to character select, but all you see is the background image. Mm -hmm. That's a bug. Okay. We're fixing that. In the meantime, if you get hit with that bug, close your client, log right back in, you'll get your character select screen, you'll get your character create, you'll be fine. Just make it snappy. Yeah, yeah, but we will fix that so you don't even have to know that little bit of pro tip. Sure. Pro tip. There we go. 
working on getting rid of that guest pass account message because that's a little erroneous. Um, while we're not looking at spinning up more realms just this minute, I do need to flag some more realms on the back end as PvP so that I can spin up more as we continue to... We, we're selling like crazy, man. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so also, you know, it's great that everybody wants to get in and be on these servers and all that uh, that fun stuff, but, you know, everybody's going to uh, Pergo right now for PvP. Hazak uh, too. Hazak's got a pretty decent population Hazic, as well. Yeah, and so... Yep. But we do have other servers that we've owned, opened up specifically for you guys to check out so that you don't have to wait as long to get in. So please yep. look at those first before you're saying, like, oh, the Pergo line's too long. It's, we've got other stuff for you to check out. Yeah, we've opened up five new PvP realms since we've been up. Yeah. Three in Europe, all English, and two in North America. So we definitely know that we, we see we're reacting to the PvP demand. Uh, so we're definitely getting some more up. And the last thing that we've got so far is that we've got a right click to report. So if you see the spammers, we hate the spammers. We've got a lot of auto detection stuff that auto mutes them. If you right click it you're, and report it, you're crashing yourself. All right. This not, is not, not helping good. us no. get rid of the spammers. No. Um, in fact, I see a spammer right there. Yeah. Uh, we need to fix that. We're going to fix that today so that you guys can help us get rid of the spammers so that our all of our automatic stuff gets into play. So the big thing about this is I don't know when we're going out yet. As we continue to resolve issues, um, you know, we're looking into the infinite loading screens that we're, we're hearing about, but we don't have a really good uh, repro right now. Empty Realm List was something we heard a couple hours ago. The hours are blending together. Mm. Oh, my I gosh. Know. Where am I? Who oh, am I? Yeah, it's so <laughs> um, As we keep going with this deployment train, we're just adding more cars to it. We're getting more fixes. We're going to try to impact you as little as possible, but I suspect people want us to take a 15-minute downtime today to get some of these fixes out, even if it means you might have to take a break and, you know, go to the restroom and not level for 15 minutes. I'm sorry. Take a breather. Yeah, we go. It. it happens. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for me. And I guess we're going to do this, the, the live ops date. We'll, we'll keep them coming. Okay. On the hour. Thanks. And Monica okay. Lee. Yeah. Thanks, right. Maku. So, <laughs> so we're also going to bring in uh, another familiar face to the Wildstar dev family. Who is it? Chad Pappy Moore. He's coming in here. My rival at Carbine Studios, I would say. Uh, we've is had he your arch nemesis? I wouldn't say arch nemesis so much. Thank you for that hug. That was a <laughs> awkward on the... Do I get a hug too? Uh, no? Yes, of course. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> awkward hug Pappy. This is his <laughs> middle name. So... Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're going through the Exiles, which is your faction of choice. Yes. Um, we've got Monica playing an Esper Orin. Yes. Um, I am playing a Mordash Warrior. Uh, what we're going to do is go through the Archip, then we're going to go through the Mordash and Orin starting area. It's going to be an interesting and fun experience. And we get to hear about uh, Pappy's background explanation on all this stuff. Oh, man, I'm just looking forward <laughs> to this. It's going to be. Guys, I have been thinking about this all night. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to trail along. Where so you at? Uh, so right now, where I'm at in the game is we're in the arc ship. Uh, we've already done some of the f starting areas. What we're doing now is we're taking these veggies uh, off to be <laughs> eaten, basically. Oh, look um, how cute they are. They are totally adorable, and they're going to be consumed by an Orin at some point in time. Mm. So we go over here, and uh, we take them to their their new spot where they can bury into the ground and uh, make adorable sounds. Hey, let's <laughs> talk about these veggies for a second, yeah, Ross. Let's what do you think? So not only are they cute... <laughs> What do you think, Monica? They're pretty cute. <gasps> They're right? pretty cute. Yeah. I'd eat them, you know. They are <laughs> also not from the planet Nexus, okay? Okay. Well, which is probably obvious since we haven't officially arrived there right. yet. Right. We're on the Arkship. So. Uh, these veggies are from the planet Arborea, which is the Orin homeworld, uh, currently being harvested by the uh, maniacal Chua and their massive machines called the Planet Reaper. So anyway, uh, they're from Arborea. And uh, you might see uh, they're considered a delicacy at that uh, on that planet, which uh, you know there's a little scripted event here that happens, uh, which you just skipped. But uh, I did not skip, dude. I'm not done. Oh, you're getting yeah. Oh, okay. You know you can get more than one veggie at a time, right? Uh, yeah, when they're around. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that one. That was I the last see. one. See? Okay. No Sorry, veggies. Chad. Right. You know you can tell me how to play the game. You can backseat yeah. drive, okay? <laughs> <laughs> or you can just kind of pay attention and know. And I'm working on it. Uh, but in the meantime, I will kill Chua's. Where are the veggies? Uh, they'll come back in a second. Come yeah, here, go back guy. to that area you were just okay. in. Okay, they'll respawn. Yeah, they'll come back. Yeah. So we, yeah, there's one, for example. Come here, friend. Yeah. Yeah, just take oh, a look. Oh, look how cute it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> they make little meow meow sounds. It's great. Seared celery. That's awesome. Uh, so we take them in here. I've got three of them. Come on, veggies. So we only need two more, and then we're good to go. 
uh, and we can kill two in the meantime. Why do I bring them? Uh, to the to your left. To my left. Yeah. So if you uh, yeah, just oh, go and this and way. This little area. This way, right over here. Yeah. I have two little celeries behind me. Where are they going? Right here, other way. Oh my God. Uh, uh, right here. There you go. <laughs> Follow right, me. Let's go. So we need to go over here. In there, and we'll be good to go. So, uh, they're from Arborea. They're from Arborea. You were saying. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> so, by the way, Monica, I'm going to give you a background, okay? I'm not Kay. a huge lore guy. Like, story for me is, I mean, it's cool. It's, I like story, right? I love movies. I love reading. I, I like you. all those things. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when I'm playing the video games, what I want to do is kill people more often. So... To each their own. Or right. harvest some uh, some veggies. Or harvest veggies, right. you know, whatever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> See, like, killing that chua, yeah. <laughs> satisfying. Uh, how about you, Monica? There's so many veggies, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> when you when you play Monica, what yes. about you? Um, you know, I like a combination of both. Um, I think the story is what keeps me coming back, you know? Yeah. Like, oh replayability, man. what have you. Yeah. Chad's um, just... Loving that answer. That's a great answer, by the way. Well I, it's, it was for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we, we uh, just freed those veggies. Yeah, yes. So beyond that, Best part of the do? game, veggies. We can go now to uh, Eric Redleaf. So why don't we talk about Arwick? Sorry. You want to yeah. talk about Arwick? What's the deal? All right, so here's Arwick Redleaf, right? So previously, I don't know if uh, everyone was watching, but Frost talked to... Uh, Miala Everstar, or Queen Miala Everstar, who is the queen of the Orin. Yes. So uh, the story here on the Ark ship is that the Dominion uh, have found the exile just as they arrive on Nexus. And um, so they're basically attacking them. They board their ship. Uh, you know, you fight some of them on the bridge, but then uh, the Chua, right, who are these sort of sociopathic little gadgeteers, <laughs> right? Yeah. They take an asteroid and they throw some uh, rockets on it and they basically blast it into, directly into the Ark ship, the Exile Ark ship. So uh, that's that thing right in front of you there, Frost, right? If you look up right. there, yeah. that's it. Okay. So. What you're doing here is you're helping Queen Miala uh, deal with these Dominion invaders, basically, who are trying to destroy the greenhouse, which is where, you know, the exiles sort of grow all their food, you know, since they've been on this centuries-long journey. This is a pretty important room for them. So, uh, so that's kind of the overarching story. Arwick Redleaf, who uh, Frost just talked to, he is the first consort of Miala Everstar. So he's kind of always there with her. He's watching her back. He's making sure that, you know, she's protected uh, or that, you know, her orders are, are, uh, are, being, uh, are, are being followed. So, you know, uh, he took out some Dominion guys. He was a little tired and hurt. He was sitting there on a pile of, uh, of Dominion soldiers. And so he basically asked you to come back here and take care of business so frost is doing a, a, do. a decent job monica i'm very impressed with your play frost you need to <laughs> practice you. a little uh, bit more if you it's know this is the first time i played you know it's well <laughs> it's actually the funny thing is is it's not surprising that this is the first time that you're playing yet you're still better than frost <laughs> yeah, well, oh uh, no oh see what, here's what pappy does it comes in likes <laughs> likes big words you know what i mean likes the big words <laughs> But then when he gets in and he actually fights with daddy, he doesn't like <laughs> it as much. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine, you know. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, Frost and Monica, uh, the good exile soldiers and, uh, and patriots that they are, have <laughs> defeated uh, these Dominion soldiers who are trying to destroy the greenhouse. Uh, are you playing... Scientist, yes, Frost? I'm playing a scientist oh because you're goodness. here, dude. Okay, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the only reason I'm playing a scientist. Whoa, look at this guy! He's calling you up. He's like, you, you just learned glowy. some pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, I just, I got, I scanned a thing that made me kind of react all weird. I got, <laughs> it's like are I was you, drunk. Are you for allergic a to it? Or something? I, yeah, it was like allergic drunk. <laughs> allergic drunk. How about know. you? What path are you playing, Monica? Uh, I'm an explorer. Oh. Exploring things. That's pretty good. As yeah. you do. Okay. Doing some yeah. exploring. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I'm going to go. Hey, Monica, you want to go help me kill this big ass robot? Yeah, dude, I'm following you. All right. I okay, love so ass yeah, robots. so here's the deal, right? They, they defeat sort of the ground troops, but there's this massive 
uh, Dominion Ultra Bot, right? He's that, like the big uh, boss. He is trying to destroy the uh, life support systems here on the Gambler's Ruin. And but you so know what? We're not going to let it. Let's not let that happen, guys. Okay? Let's Monica, get in there. He needs your help. I run so slow. <laughs> My legs are like two inches tall. All right, here we go. There we go. Give him some of that bird strike here in you a second. You can get it. Boom. That's oh, what's up. Dude, killing kill. blow. Yeah, nice. Oh, shit. Well done. I mean, crap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna happen. <laughs> right. We all know it. It's fine. I yeah. have potty mouth when I play games. <laughs> we're we're adults here. Uh, um, so yeah, we just we just killed that okay. big big robot. Yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do now is kind of move forward and onward and upward yeah. uh, into the next. Body. So you know, Frost, uh, something to keep in mind here, right? So those of you that have played the Ark ship. Um, Got something to you may know at this point that you meet a number of what we would call iconic characters, right? So Miala, Everstar, and Arwick Redleaf are just two of them. Uh, right now we're getting a, a call from Avra Darkos, who is the Mordish female leader of the Black Hoods. Yep. Uh, some pretty badass dudes, you know, if, if uh, I don't do say so myself. What are the Black Hoods, Chad? So Black Hood. Great question, Frost. Okay. <laughs> the Black Hoods are the spy like organization landed. for the exiles, right? So what I would say is if there is a group amongst the exiles who don't have any compunction about kind of getting their hands dirty, taking care of business, you know, taking care of some, you know, some Dominion people in the most painful and terrible ways possible, the Black Hoods are the group that are going to do that. Right. Um, Avra Darkos, her story is that, you know, she was once uh, a noble, right, on the planet Grismara, which was the Mordish homeworld. But okay. in the wake of this, con this outbreak of the contagion, which is this disease that they have that has made them undead, uh, her husband was killed by the Dominion who were there blockading uh, and quarantining the planet. And so, you know, because she was so overcome with uh, anger and grief, she basically became uh, the leader of this group who's dedicated to making sure that the Dominion don't do things like that anymore. So her, uh, she's known as the Widow. It's kind of a double entendre, okay? You know what I'm saying? Was that, uh, were you trying that to was, yeah, fancy that, yeah. French right there? Right. Yeah. You guys like that? Yeah. So, <laughs> one, the widow, Monica, because she lost her husband, obviously, right? Oh, no. But also, she's the widow because she's sort of like a spider, right? right? You know, don't get caught in one of her webs. She talks about her webs all the time. I wouldn't get caught. Right. Okay. Double entendre. Dude, yeah. I got you. You I got feel, that? I, I feel you. <laughs> so uh, that's the kind of here. This is the thing. Yeah. It's the kind of layers that we've got going on uh, in Wildstar. Okay. All right. You're gonna love them. You're gonna experience them. Okay. okay. Anyway, for us, I'd like to point out. So these, I think that we're spending three hours talking <laughs> about lore. Oh Lord. <laughs> and and I can't tell you how painful this is to me. <laughs> like when I, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to. All I want to do is PvP and dungeons. Check this know? out. Here okay. we go. Right. right. So you're landing on the planet, right? Yeah. Uh, that's Victor Lazarin right there. That's the dude that actually is responsible for creating the contagion, this disease that cursed his entire world. Okay. So what's happening here is you've just landed on Nexus. Okay. And you've run across this facility where they make this stuff called the Vitalist Serum, which is the only thing that stops these mortish here from turning into mindless uh, brain-eating zombies, basically. Okay? That's kind of metal. So, uh, when you get here, this this uh, facility has just been attacked. There's been an outbreak of the ravenous, which is basically what we call it when uh, a mortish doesn't get enough vitalist and sort of, you know, sort of goes full zombie. Right. And so you're here to sort of solve the problem, put some of these guys out of their misery before they go ravenous. So it's a mercy kill. I think it's pretty metal. It is pretty metal. You know what I'm I, I will say that at least that's fairly metal. Monica, what's going on over here with you? You're still Dude, up on Dude, I sheet. know. He like totally left without me. <laughs> so did. I'm here with the veggies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just ran, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna make progress. And then oh, I there we go. You, okay, <laughs> you, you got it. You got it. Okay. I'm doing things. Yeah, yeah you, you've got it though. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> thanks, you, Dad. You're, you're fine. You're, you're, fine. <laughs> you're all good. Yeah, you, you'll learn. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Monica, let's talk a little bit, because you did yes. cosplay for us yes. at PAX East as an Orin. Yes, I did. So, um, 
But you don't just do cosplay for us. You do all sorts of cosplay stuff, right? Yeah. So um, I started cosplaying back in uh, 2006. Okay. Um, you know, I'm a fairly nerdy family. I like to dress up as things and play video games and all that stuff. So uh, I guess just that combined with my creative juices just kind of flowed that way. Yeah. Now, so do you work <laughs> with other people to create your costumes, or is that all you? Nope. I make all my stuff myself. That's freaking awesome. So how does and one... And crazy. So wait, hold on a second. Let, before we get too far, mm -hmm. what was your first cosplay? Oh, God. So I was really big. This guy's about to kill me. Hold on a second. Get out of there. Move oh, to the left or right. Nope. Yeah. Dash. There you go. Okay. Now you can turn around. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I the telegraph it's system so hard in to action. It's so hard to play. Oh, you got him. You got him. One more. Yep. Boom. You can't see it on Monica's oh, screen right me. now. Yeah. But she's uh, she's kicking ass. Yeah. Fight the dudes. What was I saying? <laughs> your, very, your very first cosplay. Uh, so I was um, a big Naruto f uh, fan back in the day. Okay. They called them Narutards. <laughs> right. uh, so Do my they first still call them that? Oh, probably. I don't know. Right. Uh, <laughs> so my first costume was Tamari from Naruto. Um, I still do some anime stuff, but I'm mostly really big into video games, so working on that kind of stuff right now. <laughs> now, how did that? So, do you remember what your first costume was made out of? How did you do it? Um, so at the time, I didn't really know how to sew because I taught myself how to do yes. all that stuff. So I uh, actually bought a costume and kind of altered it and just like looked at the way clothes were made and were like, I think this is how it looks. You right. know, <laughs> just self-taught. You know, not the right way to do things. So yeah. Don't look at me as an example. <laughs> That's cool, but it was the beginning of a uh, of all downhill. Yeah. Okay. Of, a, of a black hole. That's awesome. <laughs> So you, you started from there. Yes. Um, but you've done stuff like, I think I remember you did like Rogue from the X-Men for yep. a long while and stuff like that. When yep. you're making these costumes, like where, how does one even do this stuff? Because they're pretty intricate. Um, I mean, since I've been doing it for a while, I, you know, I kind of know how to do stuff. Um, but, you know, it involves a lot of research. Sometimes I'll research for maybe like a month or so or even two months before I start something. Um, and I always like to, s like, you know, if there's a sewing bit, I'll start somewhere and be like, okay, this you know, person has a jacket, uh, so I'll buy a jacket pattern and I'll alter it. So, like, for my Wildstar costume, or uh, for the Orin costume, she has, like, a little jacket. So I bought one and I kind of changed the sleeves and how that was made. Uh, but then sometimes I'll draft my own patterns for how things look. So most of the time I'm doing it live. And, nice. you know. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> now, what about when you're making, I know, like, uh, the Orin had a belt, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you make that kind of thing um, out of? So I learned how to do my armor stuff from another cosplayer uh, called Kamui Cosplay. And um, she makes all of her armor out of this material called uh, Warbla. And so it's a thermoplastic um, material that you heat up with, you know, a hairdryer or a heat gun and becomes pliable. Um, and so you could merge it with like foam pieces to get it thicker, or just you know, just kind of craft it and then let it cool down and it becomes a rigid piece. Awesome. So I'll, what I'll do, it's kind of a creepy process, but I'll saran wrap myself, depending on where the piece is gonna go, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put uh, masking tape around me, and then I'll draw the pattern on me, very weird looking, so I'm like going like this kind of thing. Um, and then I cut it out, and that's my pattern base because it's yeah. fit to my form. And then I could cut that out of the material and do all the fun crap from there. Cool. That's pretty so cool. Yes, it's complex. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. <laughs> but you, I mean, you do this all the time. You're yeah. traveling to like pretty much every show. You're going to like other countries. Um, You're doing all I try stuff, to right? do it as often as I can because I'm also a, uh, a full-time student at Georgia Tech. Oh, okay. cool. What do you so, study? Uh, industrial design. Wow. Yeah. Okay, there's so some tie in there, right? Hopefully, you know? I will um, be out of school soon <laughs> because it's <laughs> it's. Fine. What am I kidding? I love it. Right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I gotta have time to play video games. Yeah. <laughs> Some Wildstar now that we're out, right? Yeah, for yeah. real. Okay. Well, so I have a Mac, so I'll have to play it on my work computer. Okay. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully my boss doesn't mind. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what? Uh, so we, we've we had you out for that. Um, and then you you were talking to me when, I, when we were at PAX, like mm -hmm. you want to get into some of that stuff for like a living, right? Like you were saying you were doing model stuff. Is that right? Um, what did you do exactly? I don't think I want to cosplay for a living because just, you know, making costumes for the rest of my life sounds a little miserable to me. <laughs> so, I mean, to each their own, right? <laughs> um, uh, so ideally, I'm, I'm doing an internship right now at uh, Blizzard. Uh, okay. up down the road so I'd like to be working in licensed product development for video games because I love that kind of thing so hopefully that's where it'll take me awesome <laughs> right on cool yes 
So All right. Well, it looks like you finished your quest here. Where am I supposed to be going? Uh, <laughs> what did that? Oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Back yonder. Remember that big robot that yeah. you killed? You're gonna have to kill it. Again. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. It'll be. Thanks fine. for all the help. <laughs> It'll be fun. All right, Frost. Here, let's get back to what you're doing here. Yeah, okay. So you ready? So. Here. Oh God. Give me the back. All right. Here's what's happening. You see that effect that's going on? Yeah. What's happening? Know, dude? So. Where are you? He's Where am a, I? Okay, kill this guy. <laughs> I'm in Everstar Grove. Right. You're still in the Ark ship. So <laughs> what happens when you get to Everstar Grove and after you have uh, dealt with the outbreak of the Ravenous, right? Yeah. You sort of come out to this sort of open, beautiful valley here. And yeah. then you start to get this uh, this sort of effect on you, which is basically telling you that you're something is affecting you. Okay, like right. you're getting this message in your mind and you're not exactly sure what it is, but it, whatever it is is also affecting the creatures that are in the forest as well. So they're aggro, they're Just attacking you. And so, you know, what you are trying to do here as a quest is figure out the source of this, uh, of this, oh, this sort of weird, almost subconscious signal that is affecting everything in the zone. Sure. So. Yeah, so uh, we'll find out what that is soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the meantime, I have to go to a uh, an exolab. Okay. Can you tell us what are exolabs? Yeah, Dad? dude, let's do it. Oh, okay. Man. So. Nice segue. Yeah. <laughs> um, what you uh, one of the things that you're going to run across all the time as you're playing through uh, zones and wilds are are ancient Elden scientific facilities, or what we call exolabs. Um, the 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 point with exolabs in, in most cases is that they're dedicated to sort of one particular experiment or, or one particular scientific endeavor that the Elden were trying to do. So when you go into these exolabs, like for example here, obviously you look around here, there's a lot of plants. Uh, so what you'll probably learn in here is that they were doing experiments having to do with plants and plant life. You'll actually see there's a plant-based creature here that's back in uh, in that field there, right? Yep. So uh, you're fighting one of them now, right? So they were studying them back at the time, but since the time that the Elden have disappeared, they've broken out. And so not only are you in here doing some quests, but you're also having to deal with these ancient experiments that were part of the overarching scientific goal of the Elden here on Nexus. And so uh, Exolabs are just a great place to adventure in Wildstar, A, because they look cool, you know, Frost, I think you'd agree with me, they definitely our artists fast. just bring it every time they make stuff like this, yes, they do. Uh, but they're just like chock full of lore, and I mean like, for someone like Frost, who loves lore, <laughs> these are the kind of places that he just, he's going to probably hang in here a lot, he's going to collect some data cubes, you know, he's going to learn the true history of the Elden, what they were doing here. And, Wait to find out. And you, <laughs> you guys he's are going to... looking forward to it, too. You're going to love every minute. <laughs> okay. All right, fan. get me through okay, this Okay, I think dude. you just need to jump in there. Wait. I did my little booty swagger back in. Wait, what happened there? That is the question. Um, did you you clicked on that thing there? Mm. Yeah, it looks like you did. So meanwhile, um, I'm over here, and I've got to get to kill these damn el or root brutes. Almost gave away the secret of what was giving me the headache. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out how to get to you. Yeah, I think. Uh, you I'm wondering if maybe you left without her, and so now she's, uh, see what I'm saying? No, <laughs> You're a great party leader. Hey, no thanks, problem. man. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you should be able to get through. If you, uh... I wonder if she leaves the party, maybe. Hops anyway. Uh, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah. So, that's what an exolab is, man. Yeah, okay. okay. And cool. uh, and they're they're sure. they're basically it's all over the place. The I further you get into the game, the more elaborate they get, the more dangerous oh. they get. Uh, uh, you know, okay. the more fun they get. If you're okay. the kind of guy Thank for you. us that likes killing stuff, which I do, which you do, then you know, the deeper you go into sort of the mysteries of Nexus and these dangerous exolabs, the more vicious the creatures are that you're going to have to open. I made it! So, hey, all right. <laughs> well done. So, by the way, this is a pro tip for everybody that didn't know this. There's a little hidden area that you can jump down and grab an Elder Cube here. Data right, Cube. Data Cube, excuse me. Elder Cube something else. So that's uh, right there, guys. Uh, if you don't know, Data Cubes are these research notes that were left behind by the Elden. 
every single one of them in the game it, uh, actually is voiced. Uh, so, you know, you can pick it up, listen to what they were doing, and, and actually continue playing as well, which is one of the things that I actually like the most about, uh, about yeah, it's them. So. Lore on the go. Lore on the go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyway, that's kind of the, uh, you know, the 30-second the, the pitch, even though it took about five minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Usual thing for Chad, by the way. <laughs> on the Exo Labs, yeah. You so, need a TLDR pretty much most of the yeah. time. For life. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, so, so Frost, let me ask you, man. Have you played through this zone before? I'm assuming the answer is yes. Yeah, believe it or not, I work on this game. Jack. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the weird thing is, I uh, worked on it. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, I played. I played through quite a few times. So, we have one of four uh, starting zones, right? Two for exiles, two for the Dominion. If you had to pick, yeah, between uh, this and the other exile starting zone, which would it be? That's a good one. Um, yeah, I think this one actually delivers a better exile experience than Northern Wilds does. Yeah? Yeah, because uh, it it provides a good reason for you to really dislike the Dominion. Yeah, that's so, true. Uh, <laughs> you're, like, you'll see it later what happens, but there's a point where you're like, Oh, you Dominion bastards! <laughs> I'm going to get you! Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, really, you really find out that they're, they're vicious. Yeah. Specifically the Chua. Yeah. So uh, what we're doing right now is we're going to head over to uh, turn in these quests. And you'll notice, that, as Chad was saying, there's a lot of creatures that are kind of going insane here from the uh, disturbances that from are going the on. From the strange like subconscious bird. signal. Yes. Yeah. Dinosaur bird. Yeah, dinosaur bird. <laughs> from the strange dinosaur <laughs> bird. It looks um, a little like chocobos. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I, so, I, you know, Frost, I think I like uh, Everstar Grove a little bit better than the Northern Wilds, too, um, mainly because it focuses a little bit more on what the Elden were up to, some of the crazy things that they were doing here, and it's got, like, what I would consider one of the coolest NPCs oh, yeah. uh, in a starting zone, right? Um, which is not, you know, when, when you sort of run across this thing... Uh, it's not exactly what you you know what you'd expect, which is kind of a cool story, and it's also just another way to show like, hey, the Elden were really doing some crazy stuff here on this planet. Now let me ask you, uh, is he one of your favorites because of the voice acting? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm well, just curious. Yeah, I mean, I was going to. Who's gonna the voice actor? It may or may not be the man who's sitting to my right. Look at you, yeah. get out of here. So. <laughs> uh, I, what I would say, actually, Frost, uh, no offense, but, you know, despite the <laughs> subpar voice acting for this particular <laughs> character, yeah. it, he's still pretty awesome. Yeah. No, just kidding, Frost. I think you did a great job. Hey, there you <laughs> go. Thanks for that, man. I appreciate it. Just leveled up. <laughs> GG. Yeah. So, yeah, this is Elder Root. Yeah, right so here. this is the this is Elder Root, who is what you learn getting further into this is an actual talking tree. Yeah. Okay? He's like Technological. Great Mother Willow? Yeah, why don't you go down there in the middle of that and check Well, i got to talk to Myala first, but I don't want to run all the way out there. All but right. look at him. He's freaking awesome. He's got some uh, some machines going in there, right? This is the this is the kind of crazy advanced stuff that the Elden were doing. They were taking trees and then turning them into actual creatures that could talk to you. And so, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. It's a pretty cool story. Yeah. So, uh, what we're doing right now is Elder Root is basically really the one that is causing all of this mental disturbance yeah. uh, that you're seeing around. So, um, we're going to try to make him feel better effectively. Uh, so, I've, I'm having to talk to Vis Victor Lazarin and uh, Myala Everstar. Yeah. Queen Myala Everstar, right. excuse me. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to talk to this gentleman. Also, voiced by Jim Cummings. He w yeah. Uh, which is the talented. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's done everything. He did like Darkwing Duck. And, yeah. Uh, I think he does Winnie the Pooh. Oh, oh, here we go. I don't think you hear anything. He's just sleepies. I did some good breathing for this one. <laughs> oh, all right. So, yeah. Um, so, here's the thing. What I was going to say before, but I think you, you either rudely interrupted me or <laughs> As I'm I just sort of got off, got off topic, one or the other. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> right. But, uh, but the, uh, the great thing about the arc ship is that, like I said earlier, it introduces these iconic characters. Each of them have their own stories, things they're interested in. Um, and what we've tried to do with the content, right, is that as you're adventuring through Nexus, you know, these iconic characters are sort of the core group 
of uh, of people that are going to share with you and your adventure. They're going to have things that they want to do and that you're going to work with them on. But, uh, you know, throughout your adventure on Nexus, uh, these are the important characters that you're going to sort of get to know, become invested in, and hopefully in the end, uh, you know, defeat the ultimate evil that at some point you will learn about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you think we'll learn about that in the next uh, month patch? Uh, it's very possible. Oh, man. So, <laughs> by the way, in case you didn't know, uh, we pretty much update content on a monthly basis. And not just the usual, oh, hey, we fixed this, sorry about that sort of content updates. We're adding in things like new zones. We're adding in things like housing experiences. Yeah. We're adding in new things like... Uh, rad hoverboards like story instances oh, yeah that's happening some of that lore <laughs> some of that some of that lore though sweet, sweet lore yeah. uh so man we're we're doing that and the reason i think we're doing that is because we want to keep people around yeah know? dude we got to add stuff in i think what what you've seen in other mmos is uh we'll update this in a year and a half yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to do it on a month to month basis so you you've always got something to see every single month yeah uh, and we've already announced, right, uh, that our very first patch is going to involve an entire new zone called Blighthaven. Yeah. Uh, not only cool looking and fun to play, but also uh, just like chock full of some of the most awesome story and lore, uh, perhaps in the entire history of the MMO genre. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's just say something huge and profound. <laughs> Wait, oh, a hey. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I was like, no. <laughs> Get the uh, hell out of here. You're being dethroned. Being oh. dethroned. <laughs> Chad Moore, everybody. Chad Moore. Yeah. Round of applause. There's no one See in ya. here. There's no one in here to clap for you. We're all just judging you. Hey, oh. I am back. I am feeling better than ever. Holy cow. Everything okay, buddy? I feel like a brand new man. I am so glad. And <laughs> I'm feeling pretty damn giving. Uh, no. I think we should do some giveaways. What do you think? Let's do it, man. Let's, swag. Let's do some sweet swag giveaways. So, like I said, uh, we're going to be doing these giveaways in the Twitch chat because it's fun and I like it. Um, so, if you have been chatting, if you have been talking in the uh, in the Twitch chat gallery, twa Twitch chat, Chattery. Easy. 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 <laughs> Easy. All right. Just Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. It was close. I think I did. Um, so all you have to be doing is uh, just talking, talking with us in uh, in the Twitch chat, and the uh, and you have to follow us as well. That is definitely important. So this hour, the first hour, is uh, it's like it's like a stepping stone, right? We're stepping all our way to the Mac Daddy Supreme at the end of the show. What, the is, sh what is the Mac Daddy Supreme? Yeah, Mac what Daddy, is? Let me let me tell you what the Mac Daddy Supreme is. Oh right. God. The Mac Daddy Supreme is gonna be a shirt, a roused hour, Ooh. right? That, one person's gonna win a shirt. One person's gonna win a roused hour. And then the third person, third time. Do we charm. have these items to show? Shirt. Shirt. Ra Someone stole my roused hour. Oh, oh you no, threw it over there by no. the TV. Oh, oh no. Like you just throw oh, these guys around here. Casualty of war. I know. They really are. <laughs> they really are. Those poor little angels. There he is. Look how cute my he is. My little angel. Okay. See? Awkward. Okay, Tony. <laughs> what? It's not awkward. <laughs> okay. His name is Alfred, and he makes me cookies. Uh. <laughs> I don't think he does. No, no. That's just weird. Uh, that's not true at all. He is a plushie. And that's so we're, we're giving possible. away one of those. So we're giving away one of those yeah. things. And then the be the best here. thing. Thank you so much. I have no patience for that. Uh, the next, th the last Mac Daddy Supreme at the end of the show is a mouse with a mouse pad, is a keyboard, is a headset, and is a deluxe edition of Wildstar. One person is winning all those things. It's like a nice complete Damn. set, a gaming set for you, because just, we love you. Just for you. Just for one person. That's gonna be at the end of the show. But we we gotta work our way there, okay? Don't think we're uh we're just you know chintzing out, right? Because first thing to go, awesome shirt, awesome rounds that are in. Oh, what do I have back here? Oh, look at this. Look Who at put this. that there? And a mysterious Nvidia video card appeared. Dang. Nvidia Damn. card. Bam. Did, did I say that again? No. It's two streams <laughs> in a row. It's two streams in a row. I've done that. It's those peppers, dude. Nvidia <laughs> video card and it's go. these are these are obviously great and yep. uh you know that's a that's a pretty awesome prize uh so very excited to give that away first off we're gonna give away a shirt okay and that winner is gonna be bnk3r bnk3r congratulations you're winning a shirt 
We are going to contact you, and you're going to send us your shirt size and your address. You know, one time, hmm. let me tell you a quick story. Ooh, okay. Like so, uh, yeah, no, these are, these are good stories. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, we were doing prize and giveaways, and I said, hey, I need your address. And they sent me their address. They responded, and their address was in it. It was like Slenderman87 at Yahoo.com. And I was like, can't uh, I'm going to need your physical address. <laughs> it's like we're at, we're at an age now where if you say address, you just automatically think Super email address. Yeah. Yep. yeah, it's uh, that's sad. I want to know your physical address because I want to know where you live. And so we can send you things. Maybe he just lives so in a cardboard box somewhere. Wow, you got really depressing. You know what? That's <laughs> not. Well, that could be true. That'd be a hardcore gamer right there, right? Yes. <laughs> Couldn't afford rent. Definitely can't afford to keep up your PC. I like that. <laughs> Next off, we're going to bring away this beautiful little Rouse Dower. Once again, you have to follow us on the Twitch, twitch.tv slash wildstar. And this one is going to a <laughs> very, very cool name, Nutcase, with an E, Nutcase. 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 <laughs> oh, he's a Nutcase. He's so <laughs> crazy. I hope that his name is like Newton or something. Yeah, Nutcase. And Nute he's like Nutcase. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's a cool name. Cool profile picture, too. The power symbol. Oh, no like boy. It. Power. All right, Nude Case, congratulations. You're getting a little adorable plushie. Uh, very next prize, which is everyone's favorite. The NVIDIA video card. Big deal. In front of the camera. There you go. Thank you. Here. There you go. Oh, See, yeah. she knows what she's doing. There you Come go. On, Tony. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Look at that placement. Look at that placement. That placement dough. That placement dough. NVIDIA. And the winner is Rune Ott. Renat. 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 R U N E N. Like I have a rune. A U T. Congratulations. You have won the NVIDIA video card. Thank you again to NVIDIA for giving us these awesome cards. Oh, yes. To give away all weekend long. We've, this is not your last chance. I promise you. We've got uh, two more NVIDIA cards to give away tomorrow. We've got another two NVIDIA cards to give away on Monday. What the hell is going on? Dude, insanity. That's what's going on. You know why? Oprah mode activated. Here's <laughs> Dude, here's the thing, though. Uh, the reason that we're doing all this stuff is because Wildstar is in Head Start right now. That's right. Uh, it will be officially launched on June 3rd, which is coming up here pretty quick. But if you want to hop in the game early, uh, you got to do the... Uh, you got to do the old pre-order thing. The old pre-order. Uh, that old pre-order. Yeah, you got to hop in and do that. But yeah, wildstar-online.com to get on that pre-order action. And you can hop in right now. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clear chat. Um, so everyone that won, uh, everyone that has commented at some point during the stream, go ahead and keep ta keep the conversation going. You don't have to do any kind of goofy, like, I raffle stuff. We just want the conversation to be flowing. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to type anything, really, in particular. Just uh, just uh, conversate with your fellow gamers and with us. And be sure to be asking us questions. Uh, we're, we'll uh, be able to pull a couple questions, uh, I think, right? Are we still able to do that, Tyler? Technically. technically, I love that answer. Technically, <laughs> we are. Uh, if you if we have a good question, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my eye on chat as well. We'll be hanging out here for the next couple hours. Um, so again, in the next hour, we're giving out another awesome prize, and then the last hour, we're giving out that big Mac Daddy Supreme prize. Yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and pull this down, save it. It's belonged to someone now. Yeah, it is now claimed. It has been claimed. So how are we doing in the game? What uh, what level are we at? I know we're trying to get to level six. Well, yeah, maybe do some PvP today. So Dude, someone I'm ditched me. So down. Look, I'll help you out in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just say it. You know, let me tell you something. This guy that. does not, not care for lore. Does not care for story. He just boom, 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 boom. He wants to get to the goods. You know Dude, what I'm saying? He's a monster. I want those numbers, and I want those big numbers when I hit other people in the face, so that I kill them faster. That's fair. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for, that's man. That's fair. Yeah. So uh, what we just did is we need to help out uh, Victor Lazarin and Queen Myala, and we also need to uh, help out with all sorts of stuff with Elder Root because he's in some pain right now, so we need to help kind of clear out the things that are bugging him on the inside. Right. So we're going to have to go into the roots down mm. to the core mm. of what is uh, hurting. Why did you okay there, buddy? Yeah, yeah no, in the roots. Yeah. I love that band. All right. That is a good band. That's so The roots are so bomb. Yeah. Oh, my God. Could talk about them for minutes. For just <laughs> minutes, though. For minutes. <laughs> yeah. Merely minutes. Uh, so, yeah, fun times. We're, I'm going to head down here. There's also a challenge that we can do. 
And Maybe that you could do. Yeah, that I could do. Damn. Mm. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. She's not I'm sorry, letting Monica Lee. fired. She's not letting up. Monica Lee is throwing it out. Right. We're, gonna, we're gonna need some ice. We got a sick burn over here. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? You don't want to put ice on a burn. You put aloe in a burn. Yeah. All right. Funny. Listen. Let me tell you something. <laughs> all right. I was on your side. Okay. We were teammates. Teaming up on Frost. Guess what? I'm on Team Frost. No. no. Just like that. Team That's Edward. How, I'm so fickle. <laughs> I'm so fickle. <laughs> Blow with the wind. <laughs> All of the colors. I see how it goes. Of the so wind. I'm jumping. I'm gonna say I'm doing the least metal thing possible in this game right now, which least is metal. Ju jumping through butterflies to collect <gasps> the stuff for this challenge. It's so challenge. beautiful, though. See, isn't this? Th don't you have fun when you're in exile? You get to jump through butterflies. Dude, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Like, I know I'm like, oh, I'm not having fun jumping through butterflies. It is fun to degree. <laughs> the thing is, is uh, we have to have content for all different types of MMO gamers, right? There are definitely people that would enjoy doing this sort running of thing. Running through butterflies. Right. Like Tony. <laughs> like Tony. <laughs> he loves running through meadows <laughs> and chasing after butterflies. It is his. So peaceful. <laughs> it is, is his jam. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sound I make when I run through Sitting meadows. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just weird. Weird. Uh, yeah, so we have to have like all sorts of stuff. So there are, uh, there's one, we have a designer, uh, Kim Wood, who does stuff that is probably the most adorable in the game. Yeah. Um, and it pains me because it's so good, but it's so adorable. And I like the metal part of me is like, I hate this. No. Yeah, it's like, it's not possible. Like how metal's I'm enjoying the opposite. myself. <laughs> metal's the opposite of adorable. Right, yeah. It's like, she I just made my heart smile. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Squee. <laughs> Fangirl squee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but enjoy it. You no, know, it's weird because I, I really like the stuff. There's a quest in White Vale where you have to follow this little this little guy that like sniffs out little trails and yeah. you pick up the stuff after Aww. him. He's like, his, his name is like Squiggles or something. Squiggles. Squiggles. And I'm like, Squiggles? Squiggles? She's like, meh. And I'm like, ah, it's so adorable. <laughs> it is, man. <laughs> it it <laughs> is. So, yeah. I. Uh, Are you conflicted? I mean, I'm super conflicted. And like right now, I'm ha helping out these little veggies, right? Like Dude, those like veggies are really, hey, really sweet. The veggies are the bomb. Don't hate. If uh, if you watch the Nexus report, we featured uh, some art from Nyonia. Uh, I think it's Nyonia G3. Mm -hmm. I think that is uh, that is her name. Uh, Nyonia G3 uh, showed us some fan art uh, this last week, and she made, uh, uh, I think they're clay. Yeah, clay veggies, and they were oh, adorable. Geez, if you so missed good. that Nexus report, you could totally check it out. Oh, there yeah, you go. Nyonia G3. Yeah. We got it up. Boom, look at that. They're little clay <gasps> veggies. Oh my god, they're so cute. So adorable, yeah. right? Yeah, they're in life. They're, they're actually at uh, Jen Gordy's desk. She, she made them as a gift. So nice of her to Don't do that. Don't accidentally yeah. eat them, though. No, uh, no. Or on purpose, because it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I just finished saying they were clay, but that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Classic. Hey, shout out to, uh, to Tyler back there on the drops of pictures. Ready to go with that image. CRB I just, non, dude. Yeah, CR, at CRB non, throwing them down. Did not, uh, did not plan not that. Not hesitate. <laughs> just like, yeah, no big deal. I've got it down, and it's got a frame, and it looks awesome. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> it's not a big that deal. is how I roll, he says. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> CRB non is the guy that is behind the uh, little goofy messages that pop up every once in a while, and the guy that's pulling your questions every once in a while. So, uh, yeah, show him some love. He's a good guy. Some sweet loving. Oh, some sweet loving. Ooh, sweet that takes it to the next level, I think. <laughs> we second base. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we could talk about bases here. All right, all right, fine. I'll, I'll I don't think, unless we're literally talking about baseball, then for yeah. sure. Well, there's no baseball in Wildstar. So. That's, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, there's none of the other kind of bases in here either, right? Uh, no. Well. No, 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 no. no, no, oh, no. no. <laughs> let's stop, let's stop. Somebody who submitted to the ESRB, no, there isn't. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to take a quick five-minute break. Uh, we're going to be showing you one of our trailers, and then when we come back, we're going to hop into more gameplay. We are trying to work our way to a six. We are almost there. We're at a level four right now, right? Yes. My eyes are not deceiving me. Yes. <laughs> we're we're almost to level six and we're gonna hop in some PvP action, getting it cracking. And uh, and ne coming up next hour, uh, another live ops update from Craig Turner. Uh, some more gameplay like I said, and another friggin' giveaway. Yes, yeah, dude. Swag. Super super swag. Super swag. Super swag. We'll be right back after these trailers. Wildstar, a deep, 
sprawling space adventure set on the mysterious planet Nexus. This isn't just another sci-fi MMO with pretty colors. It's a completely new frontier. Know what else? The gameplay is fucking awesome. Plain and simple, Wildstar's combat kicks ass. Aim, dodge, sprint, and double jump your way into glorious combat nirvana, where things like position and movement really matter. Gear up, put them in your sights, and explode your enemies. Oh, yeah. But after those epic battles, you'll need a place to kick it. So we've made player housing ridiculous. Customize anything your twisted little brain can imagine and invite your friends to bask in the sheer majesty of your galacto-fabulous space crib. Mmm, take it in. And speaking of customization, it goes way beyond player housing. We let you personalize everything. How you look, how you craft, how you fight, how you adventure, and best of all, how you roll. Think you got the skills to pay the bills? Wildstar's battlegrounds and arenas let you take on other players for casual thrills or some serious competition. And in the open world, mark and hunt down your rivals for that sweet, ultra-satisfying gank. Then there's war plots. Epic 40 versus 40 battles with fully customizable death fortresses. And by the way, you can level up entirely through PvP. Maybe you're more into some old school adventuring. We've got you covered. Did you say epic storyline? Yeah, we get that too. One second, you'll be exploring a creepy Elden laboratory, and the next, you'll throw on low grab boots and super double jump to an ancient ruin. In adventures, groups make choices and explore multiple paths through the caretaker's sadistically elaborate simulations. Or maybe you're ready for the next level. Wildstar's dungeons can take you there, with epic bosses and gameplay mechanics you won't believe. Then there's raids. We turn them up to infinity. Seriously, they'll rip your face off. Hardcore. Can I be honest here? All this stuff is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more, lots more, and we're just getting started. So what are you waiting for? Wildstar will be here soon, and it is full of mystery, adventure, and pure, unadulterated awesome sauce. The only thing missing is you. Hello and welcome back to Wildstar Countdown to Launch. We are here uh, for the rest of the afternoon until 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we're going to be back uh, back until uh, tomorrow. We're going to be back tomorrow with two more segments. It's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, we're doing giveaways the whole time. We're playing games. We're having fun. we got Monica Lee here, cosplayer extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. And producer no. Stephen Frost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. And myself, Tony Ray. Uh, right now, we've got a very important uh, announcement. Just a very important announcement. A quick update from uh, the ops man himself, Cougar, a.k.a. Craig Turner. I'm going to give up my seat. Oh, you're going to take, oh, take Frost? Okay, yeah. I like that. Get him out of hey, here. I, I can't stay long this time. We're, we're really busy getting the patch. I'm not even on the screen, am I? Let's go over here. There, there you go. go. There you go. Oh, oh, here. This is weird. This is here we go. That, oh, there you go. <laughs> I know I could have done that. Every time so we we're, touch. we're really busy trying to get the patch out right now. So we've got a couple server issues that we're looking into. The Zer, the Zer issues with the Realm Select screen. We're taking a look at that. We've got some sporadic latency on Pergo again. Uh, I think our bad guys are starting to wind up. Really? Yeah, bad guys are bad. Uh, wow. So I do not want to spend a lot of time here. We'll let you guys know when we do the patch. It hopefully, it will only be about a 15-minute downtime. Uh, we're getting that over to QA right now. So it is, I'm not going to say imminent, but it is certainly closer, and that's why I'm going to leave you back with Tony Frost and Monica Lee. Whoa. Hey, Craig, I really appreciate that. I know you're a busy guy. That man is operating on very, very, like, two hours of sleep. Uh, I feel I'm, like... I have a whole extra hour on him, and that oh I feel no. like I feel like that third hour is really uh, has me the upper hand. Uh, thanks again, Craig Turner. Uh, he's he'll be back at the beginning of next hour to give us more updates on that hot fix that we're looking at and uh, and the current ongoing issues uh, with Head Start that you guys might be experiencing. Again, 
Seriously, thank you so much for your patience. I know that when you want to play a game and you can't, it sucks. Uh, I I do the same thing, you know, not just for Wildstar. If there's if there's a game I want to play and I can't for whatever reason, I'm pissed and it sucks. But uh, I really appreciate the Wildstar community being so cool about it and uh, and understanding uh, we are working on it feverishly. Yeah. Uh, and, and just because we're here streaming doesn't mean that the team's not working on it. Because also, I'd like to point out, so uh, you're a community guy. I'm a yeah. producer. Uh, Monica doesn't even work here. Um, <laughs> She's a cosplayer. <laughs> she here? Yeah. Out. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we, there's not much that we can do. It, like, I get people that are tweeting at me like, Frost, fix it! I'm like, Stop yeah. streaming and fix it! If you yeah. if you want me yeah. to do that, I will wreck things more than I would help. I'd Absolutely. Like, I'm like, what happens when I unplug this? You know, yeah. like, I'm going to start button people, mashing. People, people. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do that. So this is what <laughs> I do. This this right here is what I do. Yeah, so I, I can't do that. Jobs, thing. They do different things. Right. Absolutely. That's so we're and we're working on it. The thing is, like, we have people here. We have people in uh, Austin, where a lot of our servers yep. are. We have people all over the world, literally, that are working on this stuff. So uh, we hear you. We understand. We're working on it. We apologize sincerely. Seriously, we're working on it. Yeah. Uh, people are not even sleeping. So we care a lot about this stuff. So No, definitely. Yeah, definitely. On. And uh, it bothers us anytime uh, a player can't get in and enjoy the game that we've all worked hard to bring you. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, once again, Cougar, uh, a.k.a. Craig Turner, will be back um, at the uh, the beginning of next hour. So, like, 4... 405. He'll be here again to give you another update. Um, again, the way that we're doing the giveaways uh, is through Twitch. If you uh, if you have a have a anything you want to talk about, just post in the chat, and you're automatically entered for the next giveaway. It's that simple. Just post in chat, and that's all. That's all you got to do. So we are trying to level up to level six. Awesome update. We are up to level five. GG. Well, sorry, yes. Frost oh is no. up to five. Oh no. Monica's been left awesome. behind. <laughs> And someone, someone Look, ditched me earlier. I came back for you because I felt bad, and you guys guilt tripped the hell out of me there during the go. break. So <laughs> I'm now back here. Consider yourself her personal tour guide through Nexus. Thank Fantastic. You. Let's go. I'll show you the way. Don't, don't leave your tourists <laughs> behind. Do you hear him being sarcastic over here? I, I know. I am a tour guide who's showing you the tour. You just stab him if you want. <laughs> we all do it. It's fine. We all do it. We, we all, all kill stab him. him. <laughs> Stab Frost Fridays. It's uh, it's a thing. I don't like the, any of that. Nah, that's <laughs> weird. That's a weird <laughs> joke to make. I don't get it either. So yeah, let's let's head on down here. So watch out for those vicious plants. So uh, we're coming down this road. We were talking earlier about uh, fixing Elder Root, who is in a lot of pain. So if we go down this way, this way, uh, this way. My tour guide is very slow. Damn. Oh, <laughs> you're talking you talking mess to the wrong guy. Oh, <laughs> he, will, he will dust you now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, see you later. <laughs> hey, my legs are only two inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're we're going down, we're gonna hang out with uh with Elder Roots roots, basically. So we're going down and there's all sorts of uh, weird little bugs and stuff that have kind of taken over. Usually what you see on Nexus is a lot of stuff of what happens. Imagine like a, a massive scientific lab that's just gone awry. Like nobody's been there to kind of take care of the weird experiments and right. things just kind of go nuts. And um, what you're seeing is what happens when you leave all these things. It's kind of what happens uh, when I leave stuff in my kitchen. Like when I just in don't the do the dishes and I'm like, oh, I'll leave it. And things just kind of start growing. Yeah. You're and like, what chaos. <laughs> and then... You know, you lose your roommate. So Nexus is your apartment. Then. And that's not yeah. even like <laughs> loads of years. That's like a week. Yeah, right? so like a couple couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, see those big like green gushy things? Yeah, that was in my sink once, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just got a blue bag. Oh, you did? Yeah, buddy. Nice. What's in? That's what's up. More bag space. Boom. I love it because we made, what's in my bag. made a little sound and it turned all blue. It's like, oh, I got the thing that I like. So uh, I just Yeah, you get out. that. Now you can uh, carry more stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to scan stuff because I'm a scientist. Find out information. So scientists not only scan stuff to get uh, lore and information about things, but they also get buffs sometimes. Sweet or you Jesus. can use it as a debuff if I want to attack somebody and lead someone through it. Hold on. I got you back. Uh, oh. So I posted some. I posted on. Uh, oh, God. That's what's up. Nice. See that he's your protector. Stick with him. Thanks, uh, I posted yep. uh, on my Twitter at Tony Ray. Do you have any questions for myself, uh, for Stephen Frost, or for Monica Lee? And we've got a couple questions here that I wanted to ask you guys. Um, 
match. <laughs> I just lost it. Oh, uh, from John Gussie. When can we see a walking off on Habaneros? Uh, <laughs> Hart, uh, you guys seriously are amazing. Thank you, John. I really appreciate that. Uh, so you could definitely see another walking off between myself and uh, Mr. Frost here. Also, Mark, the community manager, our EU community manager, does a pretty good walk-in yeah, as well. Walk yeah. yeah, and so I would love to get a trio walk-ins. Yeah, when like he's a, in the office, we'll have to get it. We'll for sure we'll do something. So what organized. is this now? So we uh, f at the end of every Nexus report, which is airs Tuesdays uh, at 11 a.m. PDT, right here at twitch.tv slash wildstar. Uh, the Nexus report is kind of like a news update show, right? It's yeah. kind of like we're providing updates with the game and with Carbine, and we show cool things from the community. Mm -hmm. But at the end, we do this really goofy thing where Frost and I uh, take a impression, and we both try to do our best, or we take a character, we both try and do our best impression of that. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> Frost is disgustingly good at some impressions, and it's kind of annoying, so I, I think I'm losing. I think we're two to one it's right two now. two to one. So uh, you, he <laughs> won He won Christopher Walken, which uh, it's up in the air, I guess, for me. I won Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and then he won Family Guy, even though that's still, I don't know, both of his wins are a little shady. Okay. That, they're think. not really shady. Well, they're pretty shady. That's how I won. I, I mean, I think it was a tie on the Peter Griffin, and then you had me at Stewie for sure, but and then I, I, I rocked a... Uh, who did it rock? Cleveland Brown. Cleveland I rock Brown. Cleveland Brown. Uh. No one gave me any credit for that because it was a wild card. Anyway, it's a goofy thing that we okay, do. Okay, okay. So he's talking about the things. Uh, John Gussie, I'm never going to eat another habanero in my entire <laughs> life. So no, you're never going to see that, and he I'm is sorry. He's regretting it. <laughs> so hardcore. I, I really am. Uh, I, you know, I don't feel bad though. Do you not feel bad? I think that was the whole point is you do feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? You do feel bad, though. I do feel bad what? Like, because you ate a habanero. I did. No, you know what? Honestly, I do feel much, much better. I drank oh, a bunch okay. of... I, right. That's why I left. I can be totally honest with you people. The transparency, right? I left uh. the stream. I left Chad here. <laughs> so I can go take care of myself because I was feeling really sick. Drank a bunch of water, had some food, and uh, had a bunch of Tums. Wait. Just... Went to the Wiz Palace. Ton Whoa, I wasn't going to be that transparent. <laughs> wasn't going to be that transparent, Monica Lee. Monica Lee telling people about my bowel movements. <laughs> oh, God. Um, if y'all had a duel, which one of you three would win? That's from Punk Rat on Twitter. So I'm going to let what you answer that. Got? I'm going to go ahead and say. Oh, are we say, talking like IRL? Uh, in, oh, in real life. Let's, yeah. let's do this. In the game, for sure, Frost. Yeah. That's a given. IRL, for sure, Monica Lee. I'm How do you say? Uh, you're the weapons you can create. Out of, I've seen yeah, your cosplay work. Yeah, but by the time work. I make them, I'm dead, right? Oh, uh, are we talking <laughs> That's like? That's very true. Okay, you have like two seconds. You're gonna fight. Yeah, like maybe if you had like a two month period. Nails. That way, I, yeah, you would have nails. You, I've seen the things you've made. They're scary looking. And that that translates to. That translates to you being ability. able to use them and kill me with them. Okay. <laughs> well, let's weird. let's hope we never get to that situation. I, uh, yes, I hope I never duel you to the death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Draroman. This is a tough question. Uh, do you want to be an otter? Otter? Like, an don't they eat their young or something? Maybe. I don't know that that happens. Or who was... There is an animal that does that. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? Sorry. Crazy. Weird facts. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, <laughs> No, oh I don't no, want to eat my young. They're the ones that hold the hands with each other when they sleep, right? Really? That yeah, doesn't they sound like they, they hold little your, hands. And they're Are all you cute. basing this off of like a children's cartoon you watch, off or like National I've Geographic? I've seen like pictures of it in, on the internet. It's then cute. I'm an asshole. And I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, what is all of our favorite uh, class uh, classes to play, and why? That's from Scott Johnson on Twitter. Uh, Again, if you have a question for us, just ask. Uh, just send it. To, send it to me at Tony Ray, and I'm pulling up questions as fast as I can. There's a lot of questions, but uh, some. So Scott Johnson, what are your what are your and Frosties? Well, it, all Monica Lee as well. Uh, favorite class to play and why? Monica, I know you just started, but uh, how how are you liking? Uh, well, I love playing ranged characters, right. so I am totally loving being Esper right now. Right. And actually, before I even played, I researched some who I wanted to play. So. Look at you doing research. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Uh, Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you're welcome. You're my best daughter. You're my only daughter. You're not even my daughter. What the <laughs> okay. hell is going on? Right now, this is a uh, Frost. What is your favorite class to play, and why? Uh, so I go between two actually. I really like the warrior, and I really like the stalker. I'm a big melee guy, so okay. Um, I it's hard to say. Um, I think for PvP, I enjoy the stalker more, like the mechanics of the stalker. Uh -huh. But when I'm tanking, I like to use the warrior. 
So fair enough. It's uh, the warrior's fun just because it's you know it's all about getting up and just hitting the crap out of people, um, and I love <laughs> this ability specifically. Right. Uh, we added a bunch of animations to it to make it really badass. Um, so. You know, I, I think it uh, really just depends on my mood between those two. But I also, you know, I like the uh, spell slinger if I have to go ranged, just because it's so mobile. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you can do some really cool gate abilities and stuff like that and get out of dodge. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I would have to agree with you a lot. I think we're pretty similar in that. Ooh, you want to get out of that telegraph? That, yeah, there, there, there you go. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It was just like a real slow one, like creeping. It was going to be real yeah. strong. And uh, that, was, that hurt uh. you. That hurt you quite a bit. You need to bail. Jump back. Ooh. No, I'm back already. Anyway, uh, my favorite class is uh, the Warrior. Uh, Stalker is a close second. Definitely like Spell Slinger, uh, Spell Slinger a lot. But uh, I'm going with Warrior. Oh, God. Mm, you're dead. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That, that, that happened. I, I love swords. <laughs> it's pretty much that simple. I've loved swords since I was a child. I've always had multiple swords. And, uh, and that's, that's and, all uh, Warrior. I'm not kidding when I say this. Uh, Tony does have nunchucks at his desk right now. Yeah, yeah, I literally have nunchucks <laughs> at my desk, and yeah. I know how to use them. Uh, You're not bad. I'm not bad. Yeah. yeah. So one time, <laughs> I had, I had, at my old job, I had nunchucks at my desk, and I was li thought, you know, I was the only person in the office that knew how to use them. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty badass. I got this. And this guy came up and he was like, oh, can I, uh, can I check that out? It was my friend Demarcus. And he, I was like, sure, sure. Here, do you want me to show you how to use them? He's like, no, no, I got it. And then proceeds to do the most amazing display of nunchakery. Just kind of like a boss. I mean, <laughs> it was like Bruce Lee reincarnate. The dude <laughs> was ridiculous. So, DeMarcus, if you're watching this, damn you. Dude, um, <laughs> Max Van Dane, uh, also here. Really? Yeah, he can also throw some chucks around. Through the nunchaka. Is yeah. this just a thing through the company that everyone's really good at? I, I have no idea. Dude, I don't you know, know. What Carbine, I, I, I said it earlier, we're really good at eating hot peppers, we're really good at uh, nunchucks, <laughs> and we're really good at drinking. Like we are pretty three. hardcore here. Yeah. Um, last yeah. night, I got a story. Oh, I got a story here. Time. I hear this. Quick story. Last night, uh, we all left the uh, the launch. You know, we were hanging out. We, had, we did the cheers and uh, trying to help out the... Uh, the login issues and everything last night. I left late, right? I left at like one in the morning, one thirty or something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving. I'm driving down the road, and I got pulled over by the police. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, it man. was. Uh, I, I'm I used to it. I saw you tweet about that. I did. I well, I tweeted about everything, but yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I don't know. Like I um I get pulled over a lot for some reason, and uh, so this cop pulls me over, and he's like, "So why are you uh, you know, why are you driving so late?" And I said, like, as proud as I could, because I just launched Wildstar. Like, as cool as I could. Just like a <laughs> badass. Like, I didn't even care. As if someone was watching to be a badass, but there was no one watching, so it was just weird. And the cop <laughs> was like, what is that, a spaceship or something? It was, I don't know. It was you really funny. You should have said yes. It was like, uh, no, it's a, it's a game. N never mind. So, technically <laughs> speaking, the Wildstar, I believe, was a spaceship in the game. So, you could have said yes. You could have said yes. And I have a launched it. One. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. <laughs> so, if that cop is watching, damn you. Did you get a ticket? <laughs> huh? Did you get a ticket? Yeah, of course I got a ticket. <laughs> Did you, you? What were you doing? <laughs> Bro, you know... So they have those stupid signs on the side of the road that are like, bruh, don't drive this fast. You can only drive this fast. Okay. I'm like, okay, bro. You have the speed limit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people call it that. Yeah. So. Okay. You should you probably. Did it, you didn't speed talk your way out of that one? I tried. I was like. Did you try to bat the Look at, look at. So this wild sort of thing, right? I'm a community manager. I don't know. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to push my arms together, try to pull the community manager card. He did not care at all. Oh, man. And I got a ticket. Level up. That's a shame. Boom! Mic drop. One Dude. more level, What's and up? we are on our way. So where are we off to now? Uh, you guys go ahead and uh, explain where we're at. I'm going to pull up some more Twitter questions. So I went back to finish a thing, and now I'm trying to find Stefan again. Imagine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Story of Look, my life. so this time is not my fault. That's I was, true. I was in the cave, and you're like, I'll just go outside. Well, hey, yeah, I'm, but I have to finish. No, she died. I had to finish my uh, my little mission. Oh, okay. Well, when when you're done, I'm up at Elder Root. Oh, that's I was that I was just there. Oh, okay. Well, you can come hang out with me and Elderroot. We're, we're can bros. Can I like, teleport to you? That would be useful. You, uh, actually, you can after you unlock a guild perk. Mm, so oh. we'd have to be in a guild and unlock some stuff. Let uh, me finish getting these bros. Okay. And I'll just do the lazy walking way. You want me to help you kill bros? Sure, I love killing bros. All right. It's cool. Because I get more EXP. Yay! 
Yeah. Okay. Do we have any questions, man? Here we yeah, go. Dude. This question is from Common Person, uh, and this is just for Monica. Oh no. You know what? I, I could answer this too. Come okay. On. Answer okay. for me. I'll play. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're gonna answer this. I think he's a fan. From Common Person on Twitter. Uh, question for Monica. I've got a question. Uh, as a maker, I want to get into building props and costumes. Where can I learn more? Um, so I always tell people to Google things because when I don't know how to do something, that's what I do. Awesome. And uh, there's lots of tutorials and resources out there to figure out how to make things. Because um, a lot of people will post how they make stuff. Right. Or if like you're making a costume that someone else made, you can always ask them and be like, you know, man, I've been stuck on, stuck on this one, you know, shoulder piece or whatever. You know, what did you do to do it? And they'll be like, oh, okay, I did this, blah blah blah. Because yeah, yeah. you know, everyone's really helpful and they want you to make your crap and have fun. So. Okay. So Google and creep on people. So, uh, Let's there not do the creepy part, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe Google and ask them questions. No, I'm all about creeping on people. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm at my desk, I look over and you just it's just eye staring. Con eye oh contact God. immediately. I'm like, <laughs> hey, Tony. Eye contact immediately. Like, how can I help you? Oh, that's really funny. You've this is my bubble. Me. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> we have uh, we've got another question from Tusai. Uh, Tusai on Twitter asked uh, Antonio Ray, "What other MMOs have you guys played?" A uh, ton. A uh, ton, yeah. City of Heroes, uh, City of Villains, World of Warcraft, of course. Uh, what else recently? Played a little bit of Ion. Okay. Played uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay. Conan. Really good. Uh, Star Wars is fun, yeah. Um, Conan, what else? As in the Barbarian? As in the Barbarian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that one. <laughs> uh, what else? Played... Uh, Trying to think of something recently that I played. Oh yeah, Elder Scrolls Online. Played that. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I've played a ton of stuff. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Uh, so about me, I haven't. Uh, I'm not a big MMO uh, like th guy. Like I, I that 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 wasn't what my main background was, and I, I've kind of found a, a love for MMOs. Uh, I've played Firefall. And I've played, you know, obviously Wildstar. Wildstar for my play style is uh, is a good mesh between the things that I normally play. And uh, and you know the MMO world. Uh, I'm what you would call, I guess, a bro gamer, a <laughs> filthy casual bro gamer. Fil what are your bro games, bro? Oh, bro, Call of Duty, Madden, yeah. I'm on it all <laughs> day. Uh, Battlefield, yeah, I, I I love all that stuff. I love fast pace. I love uh, you know just smashing on people and having fun, talking hey, smack. No one's judging here. You can do what you want. Thank uh, you. We're Thank not you. judging. Chat is though. Chat okay. is for sure. Oh yeah. I, I guarantee. Let me go like, back. Let oh, me leave. casual, disgusting. <laughs> let me leave uh, Twitter and oh yeah, there we go. Judge. Yeah. Mm, judge. 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 <laughs> Judy. I love Judge Judy. By the way. I do Segway. Love judge Judy. <laughs> Segway. Don't judge make me Judy. do. Uh, bro. See what we're on. I'm. A, I'm on a. I'm on a Segway. <laughs> I know. Monica Lee, it worked it worked in the first show. It's gonna work on this show. So yeah, judge me, that's fine. I'm a filthy casual and I love it. I you know, there's all types of gamers rocking, in this world. Dude. I uh do what you want. I am not ashamed. I'm proud. I love games and uh, it is what it is. Monica, you? Um, so I'm maybe not a bro gamer, but I mostly like playing console yeah. games, but I do like Diablo. Okay, uh, you're doing a hell of a job for uh, only playing console games. If I could games. get this on my Mac, I would totally play. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a subtle hint there, right there. There's, there's a way. <laughs> Dude, well, here's the thing. Cause well, you could a do a, a Windows boot, or a, what's it called? Boot camp. Boot yeah, camp. Yeah. yeah, you could do that. Um, there, there's a lot of people that actually ask about that quite a bit, like why it doesn't Wildstar. Why don't you explain that? Yeah, so uh, the reason we did that is because we wanted to make sure that the PC launch worked out well. Right. Yeah. And, right. you know, when you go to something like another system altogether it's uh, it's just a ton of work so well, you could do it in the future right if that's it does exactly work out well yes exactly if, if the game turns out well and it seems like so far people are digging it um so which is good and it's um, in the future yeah so as long as we keep getting that support i think we can definitely bring this to uh to Double other kill. systems in right. the meantime boot camp yeah in the meantime boot camp, boot camp. or by pc because that's where you should be gaming whoa damn so that's right. well that's true just you know up to opinion this is from uh <coughs> let's see from Devin Martell, kind of the same thing. Devin Martell on Twitter. Any plans to make the game compatible with using a controller instead of the keyboard slash mouse combination? That's I believe it's already in, right? It's another big question. You can do that right now, technically, yeah. if you really wanted to do that. Because we have key bindings, right? So you can hook that up. Um, however, this game is really meant to be played on a mouse and keyboard. Um, I would say that if we augmented the game to do that, um, it would need some tuning, right? You would have to make things a lot easier on a console. Right. 
Um, you know, I play console games too, but it, it's a different sort of skill set and sort of uh, controls that you you have to have. Yeah. Um, when we design all this stuff, there's tons of buttons for everything. So keyboards are lovely for that because there are so many keys that it's you true. can access. Look at things. all yeah. those keys. Right. In fact, let's take a minute and let's count all the keys <laughs> on Jesus. the... You know what? Never mind. That's yeah, we don't have to do that. That's that. fine. That's oh, well. fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's good. That's fair enough. Um, a question from Gwyn. Uh, this is from Monica. What recommended material uh, would you use uh, for weapons, for cosplay, cosplay weapons? Um, so I am more of a sewing person myself. Um, but whenever I make weapons, uh, wood is really good. Any, um, MDF is like a composite wood, so it's really easy to kind of like uh, chunk away at that kind of thing. You, oh, do you like carve it? Um, you, I mean, like, if you had, like, a lathe or, like, a bandsaw, uh -huh. um, but, you know, you could also, if you don't want to go, like, the super hardcore route, um, you could always get some insulation foam. Uh, it's, like, the pink foam they put in the walls and stuff. Okay. And I carve at that, you know, paper mache or use some expanding foam. It'll be a lot more fragile, but it's uh, easy to start with. So, you know, like, again, search weapon tutorials, cosplay, tons of stuff comes up. And sweet. And you can start there. <laughs> All right, sweet, yeah. Make stuff. <laughs> hey, I like it. I like it. I've never been able to do that. Right, when so are you going to cosplay? I'm going to cosplay. It's a lot of pressure. It's right a lot of pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> you could help me. That'd be okay. cool. You, if you help me, I will totally cosplay. What do you want to cosplay, bro? The, uh, something. something. You could do whatever good. you want. Be you could cosplay him. I could be a grand. Oh, we should, you know what we frost. should do one day? You should do an impression of me, and I should do an impression of you <laughs> for the whole show. Oh, God. That would be awful. That would be a crazy. Can we would get be like done Freaky for Friday. <laughs> done for tomorrow? Hell no. I'm not doing that for six <laughs> hours. I can't be that dark and sinister for six hours. I have a beautiful, bright soul. Oh. That's true. It's hard to be this dark and sinister. <laughs> it is, dude. I'm the nicest dark and sinister person you've ever met, though. <laughs> yeah. That's the case. Th that's true. Uh, guys, if you have, if you do are posting any questions to my Twitter about um, about any of the game updates, uh, Craig will be back. I'm literally sitting here. I, I, I don't know what the updates are. Uh, so Craig will be back uh, in about 35 minutes to give you all uh, a new refresh updates on, on what he's been doing on the la in the last hour. Uh, as far as uh, server-side maintenance goes. So he will be back. Oh, wait, I want to point out something. We're about to hear some really dark secrets from the Elden, and yep. all of a sudden the Chua just bombed the hell out of Elder Root that we just fit. Oh, what a jerk. I have some important things to tell you, yeah. Autobots. Yeah. I don't know why I was doing Autobots. that voice. Yeah, I was doing that voice. I, might as well, I figured I might as well. This is so sad, dude. Yeah, we just blew this up. Uh, it's a Chua, dude. They did this to him. I seriously, well, the I first time guys. I played that, I was like legit like... I don't Bumped like out. that at all. Like, I just finished the mission. Like, I was all That's excited. That's good storytelling, I, though, right? It, no, I know it was because yeah. I was like, screw these Chua. I'm going to go kick some ass now. Right. I got it, it, like, lit a fire into my ass for sure. Like, and literally because everything's on, on fire the, now. Yeah? The peppers. Okay. So, yeah, we uh, we just unfortunately witnessed the demise of our homie Elder Root. So now, look, and look at this, dude. The Dominion are just laying waste because they hate nature. Your screen is different from my screen. They really do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you haven't turned in that quest yet. I know. I'm cool so thing. Actually, I'm going to so use this slow. as an example. Thank you for bringing this up. For Monica. sucking for me. Sucking. No, 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 <laughs> no, not at all. Actually, what it what it is is um, because I'm a little bit ahead of you, and we saw this really cool cinematic in this scene, and everything's lit on fire, and there's still stuff. I can still see you. Uh, in other MMOs, what they do is they do this thing called phasing, where they kind of put you in another version of the area, and you can't okay. see your friends, which kind of sucks. Because if we're questing together and I can't see you, yeah, so you're you like, what happened? Out. Yeah. Right, right, so I can still go down there and help you out. <laughs> but we use this thing called uh, visual phasing, which allows us to put in things that only I can see, but you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. cool. Yeah. So it's a good storytelling mechanic, and it allows us to kind of tell stuff and, and still have progression and see other people. For sure. For sure. To get a little nerdy there, sorry. I know, I, I appreciate it. Uh, so, okay, the, so Ambrose wants to know, Tony and Frost, who would you both cosplay? And yes. Monica, I'd like to ask you as well, who would you like to cosplay that you haven't yet? Oh, so, well, dream costume. I've always wanted to do uh, Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades from StarCraft. Oh, that would be nuts. That'd be bad but ass. it's That'd be rough. incredibly hard to make. Yeah, I can't so imagine. That's why it's my dream costume, because it's probably never going to happen. <laughs> that one is brutal. Well, what would you guys like to do, though? You never like had one character that you just well, idolized you this? wanted to be? Um, hmm. I feel like the the people that I would want to be, I wouldn't look good as because I'm like... 
Well, this it doesn't matter. You do what you want, bro. Is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah. I, th I figured you should, like, kind of dress towards something that would work out well for you. you well, know what so, I mean? while that is a good, you know, thing to keep in mind, because, like, it can be really cool to look like a character. If there's one you're really passionate oh, about, like, not. say, you love Darth That's Vader, incredible. you know? Right. He has a mask, so it doesn't matter. Right. Or, okay, so, so you true. know, any character, if you just really love them, like, Archie it's about Grant. embodying their characteristics and attributes so that you can kind of take that on. Right, I'm okay. just saying, right. like, if I'm Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, right, like, I'd be the skinniest, weirdest looking Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you you <would> know? <laughs> I want to <laughs> see it so bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. It would I see but here, it. I but you'd feel badass like him, right? Do I? Because I'll, I'll be I like, would. I'm I would. skinny you Scorpion. Like, it doesn't. You'd feel cool, work, though. I guess. So, I think well, here's the thing. Actually, people ask me this a lot. Um, People have said that I look like Gordon Freeman from Half Life. Yes, you oh, do. Oh, you do. Yeah. So, uh, like, I think if I was to actually cosplay and put time yep. into something, I'd probably get like a hazmat suit thing and a crowbar and For sure. or a gravity yeah. gun or something, and then look like Gordon Freeman from Half Life. Dude, totally. I would. Um, I would watch that. Look at that. I don't know. I <laughs> uh, I definitely. <laughs> I would love to cosplay. I know it's weird. Like it's not a, it's not, it's nothing really. Uh, it's not a hard cosplay by any means. But I would love to cosplay Michael from uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, Michael okay. is the man. I love that. I love playing that character. Uh, you know, I really like playing Trevor as well in Grand Theft Auto V. Mm -hmm. But because he's a lot of fun, he's just like crazy. But damn, Michael was just funny. It was just a cool storyline. I, I liked. I loved the story of that game, and uh, you know that l the lore. You know what I mean? I don't like it. Live on, Peppy. Uh, I I love the story of that game, and uh, I would I would do I would totally I would totally cosplay Michael. I mean, like you said, yeah. not hard. Or well, Assassin's everyone, Creed. Everyone would recognize you too because it's a pretty popular game. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed for sure too. Your Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed. I'm wearing my necklace today. Oh, look at that! Yeah, we got the Working got it. the Assassin's logo there. Are you excited for the new one? Of course. Yes. Of course. I love that game. All right. You could like okay. other games. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, completely. I mean, Absolutely. we are unabashedly like gamers. You know, we love that stuff, and it's it's not like we're like you can't mention that yeah. word because oh, they like mentioned oh some other game on their stream. Right. We are we are gamers, and we support the industry. When that when a yep. game when another game does good, good. Happy, that's yeah. that's good for the industry. That's good for everything that we all love. And uh, yeah, we have no problem talking about other games. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time, Halo 2. I don't think I've ever put as many hours into a game as I oh did yeah. Halo 2. Such a pro gamer. Such Dude, a pro I really gamer. am. But all through high school, I mean, I had LAN parties. I, we would hook all of our Xboxes up. Awesome. We'd play all night. Halo 2, uh, oof. Is that your favorite game, you'd say? Um, I think that's my favorite game because it has my most favorite memories. I mean, like, I think of Halo 2, I think of high school, I think of all, like, we had, like, a core, like, five of us yep. that played. And I actually, I put those five guys, they don't even know this, they're not even, they're probably never even watching the stream. But I put those five guys, I put their gamer tags in the credits for Wildstar because they are what kind of inspired Aww. me to get into gaming in the first place. Adorable. That's and nice. uh, No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adorable, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Adorable, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think Halo 2, just for the memories and for the, <laughs> just the sheer amount of game time that I spent in, uh, in Halo 2. Nuts. It's all right, dude. That's, so, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have another giveaway coming up in 15 minutes. Once Soon. again, the way to do that Soon. is to get in the Twitch chat. Just start talking. Uh, start talking to us. You just have to say anything, and uh, and you're entered. Entered for the contest. Whoa, dude. Did you see that? <laughs> that was nuts. They're shooting fire out. That was epic. I have to kill this gross slug thing. Oh, dude. It's ass. I kind of left you alone you again, Monica. Like, I'm sorry. Sorry? I, I left you alone again. Totally. Nah, man. Yeah. We're, she, we're she, done. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead to me. She's so, she's so pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's but all right. You know what's rad is all these nature creatures are just kicking the crap out of the Dominion because they're like, you killed our homie yeah. Elder Root. Yeah. yeah. Just kicking nice. everybody's ass. Nature's going to band together. Yeah. I like it. And then I'm helping them out, dude. That's it. See, See, doesn't this, this make you feel good? This is the kind of stuff I can get into because there's uh, there's badass creatures just putting the crap out of, of dudes that just torched oh, Elderoot. They have Come cool yeah. motivations, right? Yeah, exactly. Kill these little chua. Little chewumps. Chewumps. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't even see what you did until you, got, you said you it. You got a chuckle out of that. Here's, uh, you didn't see it because I, I had to look over it like this. <laughs> eh? huh? That's the face of I just told a really bad joke. Eh? <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh man. So uh, we're almost actually into Celestian. 
Celestian's a pretty cool area. Um, it's the follow-up to where we're at, which is Everstar Grove, and the Dominion are still continuing their deforestation campaign. Um, Dominion, a bunch of dicks. They, uh, yeah, dude. If I had to say it, they certainly are space dicks for sure. This is a really cool mission. Uh, you're going in and, and attacking their deforesters that are just spewing hot fire, coal, and ash yeah. through this beautiful green grove. And what I what I did there was uh, these are little chua drills, and they just kind of drill up through the ground, and then a bunch of them pour out and they attack. Um, I'm throwing basically chemical gas grenades into their uh, to drills, and then they run out and start throwing up everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's like angry vomiting, like we were talking about before. <laughs> Oh, no, are you okay there? <laughs> and I'm just, like, simulating angry vomiting. I don't know why the audience <laughs> needed to see that, but apparently my head's so a little a crazy of that. sometimes. I apologize. Uh, again, if you have any questions for either of us, uh, just tweet me, at Tony Ray. I've got it up, and uh, I'm, uh, you know, pulling your questions. Tweet. Twat. Easy. Oh, here's a good one uh, from Siam. Uh, S-I-A-M. Yep. Siam? For all three of you, what is your uh, what is that guilty pleasure game that you still cannot stop playing even now? And oh I know man. exactly what this is. What's that? Go go you go. You, you go, go first because I need to think about mine. Okay okay, I cannot stop playing Flappy Bird. Uh, oh really? Jesus! Flappy Bird, I just just want to make it past 18. I'm stuck at 18. Do you understand how frustrating that is? It's not 20. No. It's not, it's not even like I can brag about it. Like, it's 18. I made, I made it through 18 pipes. It's so annoying, and it is definitely a guilty pleasure game. I get it. Save your tweets, okay? I get it. It's I, ridiculous, but I'm addicted to it. You actually asked me, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I don't. You don't know what Flappy Bird is? I know what it is. I just don't know what that feeling is. Yes, I've never me neither. Played. Oh, okay. okay. You're I, alone. Because I just don't sorry. care. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's Here fine. we go. Here comes the judgment again. Yeah, no, Here comes fine. the judgment from the chat. Really? 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 Flappy Bird? Flappy really? Birds? You're addicted to Flappy Bird? Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Sometimes I get bored, I, and I need to pull up my phone and play a quick game, and Flappy Bird does that for me, and uh, I, I don't Fair know what enough. to tell you. It's, like, it's, it's called a guilty pleasure for a reason. Exactly. Save your tweets, people. I don't care. I love it. Mm. So what's your guilty pleasure, Monica? Oh, well, I mean... I don't know if I have a guilty pleasure one, but like ones I like to go back to a lot, and uh -huh. uh, that's probably Final Fantasy XII for me. It's still on PS2 for some reason. That's the only reason I kept my PS2. Right. Um, and like I'm just in this little strategy guide playing over and over again, and I probably logged somewhere over like two, three hundred hours on there. It's a little scary. So that's mine. All right. Sweet. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry, just checking to make sure there's that wasn't an update. Or an so, emergency. Yeah. yeah um, go for no it. My, I don't really have a guilty pleasure either because my taste is immaculate. But Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, violent <laughs> vomiting coming on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> uh, no, it, this isn't so much a guilty pleasure because I think it's actually a really fun game is, uh, that I'll just kind of go back to periodically is Chivalry. Have you played that game? Oh, dude. That's not a guilty pleasure, dude. That yeah. game is, is class. Yeah. That game, have you played Chivalry? I have not. you got to check it out. It's just a damn good time. Is it? It's simple, and people, you know, again, could hate on it or whatever, but it's fun. Oh, it's a great game. And, the, you know, I, I love the look of it, the feel of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's basically I, it's just medieval warfare, and you okay. just run and try to chop each other down, and it's first-person melee, which is that really weird. Great. Yeah, but it's a ton of fun. Uh, and I just listen to metal while I play it, because it just fits so well. <laughs> it does. You dude, are so metal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm like chopping off dudes' legs. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's super gruesome, and it's awesome. You chop people's legs and arms off. It's just <laughs> good, good they have, like, medieval fun. Death gurgles. They're like. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds <laughs> yeah. so oh good. Oh, God. It sounded really gross in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> More yeah. gross than my violet vomiting? I don't know. I had to gurgle. It sounds like you're dry heaving a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, and now I'm getting trolled. Jamil Johnson, 44 on Flappy Bird, bro. Come at me. Oh, no. <laughs> Much respect, Jamil, because that is not easy. That is hard. I got, I got respect for you. Challenging you to a duel. Uh, Frost, this is good. Uh, so, uh, for all of us, Robert Roca, what's your recommendation for getting into the gaming industry? Any particular, s any particular schooling? So here, this is a, a great question. Yeah, and I get it all the time. 
Um, there, it, it's very strange because everybody that you talk to, I, I don't know that there's like one specific way that's like, this is how you get into the game industry. Right. It's very circumstantial. Um, yeah, it's very much circumstantial. So what I would recommend is finding a place that's close to your home and trying to become a QA tester there. That's the best bet that I could give you. Because, it really is. Yeah, I mean, you get in and uh, once you get in, never be a dick, uh, work your ass off, and continually show that you are um, of great use to that company, and you'll go really far in the game industry. And there, there really is no one way to get in. Uh, I mean, before, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a whole lot of gaming experience or gaming industry experience before my first game industry job. Uh, at, at, at Red Five Studios, um, and I was able to get in there. Uh, you know, it, it really is just like a, a mixture of things. I mean, I did a lot of stand-up comedy. I had a lot of management experience in like a corporate setting, um, and uh, you know, and I you had a passion for games. You understood the audience, and you had the passion. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, at, for sure, the basic thing you need is definitely a passion for games. Oh, yeah. Like you, you can't be in this industry because you do a lot of work. You ha like, like Frost said, you have to work your ass off. And uh, you're not going to want to work your ass off and stay sane if you don't have a passion for it. Uh, so definitely having a passion. And, 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 yeah, there's not one path. But uh, I think the, the best way for sure is is QA. Yeah, yeah. internships, things like that. There's, yep. also a web, there's also a website called uh, gamedevmap.com. If you go to gamedevmap.com, it shows all the game development studios, Not maybe not all of them, but a majority of them, around the world. So if you're like, I wonder what's in Ohio, or I wonder what's in Chicago, or something like that, mm. yep. uh, you can find it out there. And I would say just try to apply there, take internships, um, work any sort of way that you can, or make your own games. Integrate to as much as possible into gaming. Like if you're doing yeah. a paper or a project or something, try some way to relate it back to gaming, because that'll show that you, know, you don't just have the passion for playing games, but you also want to have things related to it. Yeah, most definitely. Just uh, work hard, never give up. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. You definitely have to work hard. Yeah, for sure. We should make inspirational posters. We oh, should. with like the little kitties. Yeah. The little kitty bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reach for the stars. <gasps> oh, that's cute. No, thank you, <laughs> thank you guys for your question. Yes. Uh, can you? Uh, this is from Matt Gish. Can I has that uh, great sword behind you? Get it. No. No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a negative. That's uh, yeah, big fat negative. Uh, as much as I would love for that to be the case, it would be like, here's the great sword, bro, for asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How cool would that be, though? That was sure. Made it. Yeah. Right. You're the first person that you know. I don't remember. Uh, actually, don't there's a guy uh, that used to work here. Was a concept artist, um, and uh, he made it all about. Cool. God, I don't know, three years ago. Or something it's like pretty like badass. Yeah. Let's get let's get some details on it. Uh, the details. What you oh, you're gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I couldn't uh, tell you that guy's gone now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, the details are he's gone. He's he was really. Jesus, watch oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty epic. Um, Please don't. Oh, is this are we? Is this the question about who's gonna win in the fight? Oh yeah. Now he's gonna prove it. I guess. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's nice. I dig. I prove. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that was uh, made by someone here at the studio. Uh, he came as a an exile warrior mm -hmm. about three years ago. Cool, it's, uh, Andy. He, I, I'm sure we could find a picture at some point in time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Looks like in 30 minutes, or we're gonna have the servers be down for 30 minutes here, coming up fairly shortly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect timing, right? So what? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, we could do our giveaway then. What we'll be doing? Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. We'll do a Q and A. And uh, <coughs> we'll wait for the servers to come back up. Like uh, like you said, obviously, uh, that's going to be Craig's update <laughs> next hour, is that we're going to be down for 15 minutes. Uh, that's the hot fix that we've been talking about. It's going to have a lot of fixes in uh, a lot of the issues that you guys have been seeing uh, over the past 24 hours. So very excited that the hot fix is coming in. Unfortunate that we have to shut down uh, the servers for 15 minutes. But like you said, should be 15 minutes. Uh, so uh, shouldn't it be too much time away from Nexus. Uh, by the way, Monica Lee, I'm leaving you alone again. <laughs> uh, you've been gone for a while, yeah, so I'm, sorry. I'm not surprised. I have to say you're doing pretty well, though. Like, you seem to be handling yourself okay. Doing fine. I only died that one time. Yeah. Because I got distracted. Sure. Okay. It was distraction. Uh, this is from Jesse Montoya. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys going to be at San Diego Comic Con this year? Uh, probably uh, not sure, honestly. Uh, I'll give you an honest answer. 
Come hang out. Yeah. Well, I, I would love, love to hang hey, out. Just close. for realsies, I'll be there just like rolling around, but I don't know if we'll be there. I don't, that's what I meant. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be there in official capacity yeah. and like, a, you know, have a booth or anything like that. But, you know, it's close enough to where I'd love to throw like a little community get together and uh, and have have Wildstar fans from the San Diego, L.A., Orange County area come down and, you know, throw out some swag, have a good time. Yep. Yeah. That, I, I think that could definitely, you know, happen. So, uh, but as an official capacity, probably not. Might have a party. So something. I don't know. That's what I just said. Yeah. That's what I literally but just the, said. But it's like, literally. you know, official. Like, officially, we might be there. Well, a fit. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Oh, Michael or Robert. I messed up his name. It's pronounced Rocha. Robert Rocha. I apologize. There you go. Um, how do you pr become a QA? Yeah, you want to look for openings and uh, and submit. Yeah, basically go to the jobs page and see what's open and mm -hmm. apply for it. They have most of them will have like career pages. Yep. Most, I out. mean, most video game studios are like any other job. Like yeah. it's not like a mystery to get in. Yeah. They they have job sections and and just a bunch of listed. Uh, I mean, we do as well. Yeah. Yep. If you go to Carbine's uh, the Carbine uh, job page, uh, we have just jobs listed that we are hiring for. Click that, submit your resume, and uh, you know we can see what happens. Um, so yeah, most mo I think I, every studio I know of has that some type that of setup option, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Going to school helps out a lot too. You know, like if you want to be a programmer, or like it really depends on what you want to do. Like if you want to be an artist or something like that, getting a technical background in art really does help out a lot. Um, if you want to be a designer. Uh, there are schools for it, but I don't always recommend going to a video game school for that stuff. Uh, it doesn't necessarily teach you exactly what you need to know or the environment of what it's actually like to make a game. Um, but I, the old-fashioned way of learning by being in QA and figuring stuff out, because there's a lot of terminology and differences between the game industry and other things. So, uh, yeah, look into that stuff. Or even, like, I have a bachelor's degree. Uh, from Cal State University of Long Beach in communications has literally nothing to do with the really? game industry. Yeah. Um, but most you know. people don't even like their majors and degrees aren't related to what they do. So I went to college for six years, and I have zero degrees. <laughs> 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 I did a lot of theater, a lot of uh, comedy, improv classes, uh, that kind of stuff. I did very little. Of anything else. You know what actually helps out a lot too is knowing people. If you know somebody that's in yeah. a, a studio or something like that and you can convince them to convince other people that you're awesome, that helps. At least to get you in uh, an interview. You yeah. know what I mean? But don't hassle them like crazy because they don't like that. <sighs> no, we don't. No, we don't. And yet it continues. Yes. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, we're going to hang out. When did he say the, the thing would go 30 down? Minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So we are just uh, just about ready pretty soon here to get into some PvP. Uh, just waiting on Monica Lee. I mean, I can do. I can Man. get into some PvP and let Monica level and then get to, you know. Here. I'm having fun with the little rutabaga looking Let's things. go ahead and do that. Let's. Okay. Why don't you jump into a match, and uh, you're going to go ahead and do on. I'm working. Keep on keeping on. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna keep on, keep on, keep on doing. I need, I need the motivational posters. Uh, okay, there's a surfer, and he's surfing on a wave, and the thing says, "Roll with the tide." That's a damn good one, and I just came up with that. That sounds a little too much like "Roll Tide," though. Roll from uh, is it Alabama. I just Alabama? said, "Roll with the tide." Okay. Roll okay. with the tide. Okay. Very different. So nope. video games don't work out. Motivational poster making. Perhaps. I've got such a good future. <laughs> 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 All right, so you're getting in. You're changing up your set, getting things ready. Yeah, man. So what are you doing? What how, what what choices are you making to so get into PvP? I'm. Uh, I just want to pick some abilities. So I've got my usual uh, builder ability. I've got my rampage ability, which is freaking awesome. Yeah, um, rampage is sick. I've got my movement ability for leap. So this is good if I want to get out of trouble or if I want to leap in because somebody got away from me. Uh, and I want to close the distance. Uh, this one in Savage Strikes is perfect when you knock someone down on the ground because I have a kick ability which knocks people down. Uh -huh. and get more damage when they're on the ground, and I use that one. So oh. that one's clutch. Uh, so we're going to get that going. I'm going to queue right now. We're going to see what happens. Turn PvP on. We're going to go into Practice Grounds. Kind of quality. Practice like Grounds. So we got a 15 second queue time. Let's see. That's the estimate anyway. Bam. Less than that. So we're in that the PvP. The quickest 15 seconds of my life, <laughs> and, and you're still you're still rocking it, right? You're still yeah, over man. here rocking it. All right, cool. 
All right. You can leave me here in my little corner. I'll play. No, no, no. I'm not going to leave you. I mean, feel free to hop over and, and check out this screen. <coughs> so we'll see how I do in here. I'm uh, We normalize levels, meaning uh, I will be put to level 14 despite the fact that I'm level 6. Mm. Um, so I'm at the, the lowest end of the totem pole here because uh, the abilities that I have to choose from are a lot different than somebody at level 14. So uh, that means that also other people have amps and things like that that improve their attack power. So there's going to be little perks for them. Right. Whereas me, I have to kind of go on whatever I got. So we'll find out how well I do against this. But I will say that skill does play a huge part in Wildstar. So my ability to avoid attacks and things like that will play into me potentially not dying. Cool. Awesome. We'll see if that happens. That's the plan, right? That's the plan. That I, is the plan. I did pretty good when we were with uh, Jen Gordy. My first match when, when Jen was on uh, was not so hot. But then after that, I was clearing house. Like the publisher's clearing house. My, my trash talk needs work. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I mean, you're good at it with me. You That's seem true. to be like yeah. a, a pro with me. It's yeah. Just, this uh, is my metaphors or similes regarding to other things. Just whatever. Yeah. All right. Just leave me alone. Really. <laughs> Monica's powering through. I like. I like it. I'm running. You're close. <laughs> you're. You're gonna get to six soon. Soon. Just okay, in time for the right. servers to be shut down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> just in time. Just, just bust your ass. You're fine. Just All right. Going. So your match is beginning. Yes, it is. And we're gonna try it. The whole point of Wild Tiki Temple, by the way, is to capture these masks here in the middle. And what we want to do is get these uh, Dominion defenders away from these things. So and you, each team starts off with one mask. You see, there's little like the little flag symbols up at the top of the screen. Level up. That's how. Damn, boy! That's what's we up. did it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just in time for Elder Root to be destroyed. Yeah. Oh, God. This is again. a terrible day. We have to, I have to watch it again. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Dude, Worst moment of my this life. This is what's up. Hold on. Uh, Holy crap. What is happening on Screw Elder Root. Look at this. <laughs> they, I, now, I don't know about this strategy. Having your whole team in one spot fighting over one mask, I really think, you know, you kind of divide and conquer a little, bit, a little bit. Because if, there's, if you guys are all focused there, and one of their teammates hops literally down to the other mask that's down there and grabs that mask. I mean, that's kind of a—it's kind of like a sneak attack that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it could be. Also, I want to make sure that this person, come here. Get him. That rock got in my way. Hold on. <laughs> come here. The huge boulder Boom. that came out of nowhere. Boom. Boom. Nice Boom. knockdown move. See, so I'm gonna get wrecked right now because their entire team is chasing after me. Right, but it's a good to way to slow them down and knock them down. You kind of stun them. <sighs> Yeah, I've got no stuns to stop them, so they just got a mask anyway. So now the whole team is going to wreck me. So what I'm going to try to do is get out of dodge. See ya. Hopefully Let's they don't see. have movement Ooh. abilities. Ooh. Ooh. I dodged out of the way of that. That was close, oh dude. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. Oh, gosh. They're on my heels. You should I'm be dead. dead. Yeah. That was uh, stay alive for as long as I could. And maybe in that whole time, because there was like six people on me, my team could have been doing something useful. Right. Because I was distracting them. Hopefully. They weren't. They probably weren't. Like, I can already tell you they weren't. They were probably on, on the side kind of watching Frost get out. Not cool. Oh, no, he's dead. How sad. Yeah. Welcome they, to my life. They seem to uh, hardcore. not hardcore. <laughs> they seem to not really mourn my death. Uh, let's find out. Oh, wow. There's a lot a of people in here. Has been stolen by the Dominion. Okay, so the Dominion just stole a moody mask. I'm not going to let that happen. So Get I'm it back, bro. Kick get it right back. There. Get out of the way of that. Ah, see, now this is something that I'm going to play the hell out of. I, PvP? I love PvP, bro. Yeah. I love it. It's fun. Uh, yeah, it just, I, I just, I like the fast paceness of it, I, you know? Yeah, oh, hell yeah, they draw the Moody Mask. Cool. So, what we're doing is a good job of defending this mask and not letting it go. So, now what we need to do is stick around until this thing goes back to our base. We don't want to have this guy try to pick it up and take it back to his own base. That would be bad. Every drop mask, yeah, has a, has like a timestamp on it that yeah. it'll sit there and then it'll regen to its original spot. Yeah, you can there see goes that timer out. right there. Tick, 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 tick. So it's going down. I'm making sure that this person doesn't get near it. Yep, go ahead and run away. Yeah. Oh, got it. Like a boss. Yep, so we recovered that. That's good. Uh, the Dominion still has another so mask. So it's like though. capture the flag, wild star style. Yeah, yeah, kinda. yeah. yeah. That's exactly right. Boom. Oh. And if you do notice, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold for the uh, the giveaway this hour, and we're gonna push it uh, just a little bit back. That way, uh, during the downtime uh, of the servers, I'm going to uh, that's when I'm going to do the giveaway. Uh, we're gonna have another update, hopefully, from Cougar. We'll have some uh, Q and A 
for Miss Monica Lee, myself, and Frost. And, uh... We, you know, hang out and chat it up with you guys. Yeah. So that's what we'll do the giveaway right now. Definitely want to focus in on this PvP intense match. PvP match. Yeah, that was definitely. So, so it's a, it's two to one right now. Yeah, Dominion's up by one. So yeah. That's no bueno. Uh, what we got it? Oh, man. So we're, I'm in breakout gameplay right there. Just got uh, CC'd. But what? There. Come here. Come on. Uh, what you got to do when you're in that is kind of press a key to get out of the gameplay faster. Ooh, and I just got, oh, this is oh, no good. Man. Get wrecked. You got to get oh, out of there, dude. I Dodge can't. out of there. See, what had happened to me was oh. I got uh, chained basically to that tether. Um, yeah. And that, what I have to do is bust that tether off. It's an anchor that keeps me from running away. I have to break that off, but it was not only holding me back, but then 82 people were hitting me at the well, same time. Well, here's what I'm Aww. thinking. I think uh, people are watching the stream. And they know who you are. <laughs> they be. are hunting for you. It could be. I know that because in chat, everyone is saying, Hunt Frost. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably exactly what's going on. Here's what I need is a healer to stay right by me so that I don't die. Oh, good. A Moody Method. Let's see if we go down here. If it's down here. It is. Lead for the start. There you go. No one's around it. Oh, oh it's a race. It. Two on one. Come here. Come oh, here. enjoy it. Enjoy it. No, that guy tried to oh, stealth it. Ugh. They're gonna just wreck me right now. Nope, see it. Oh no. Noblenico, I just happened to see this. Noblenico from Twitch chat asked, What faction are you guys planning on playing as your main? Uh, I was gonna go exile. I really was. Yep. And I posted on Twitter all day yesterday because I, I had no idea uh, what I wanted to play. I wanted to try something new. I'm, you know. Had a lot of bad influences in my life, and uh, one in particular. And I've convinced they've convinced me to switch to Dominion, and I'm going to be evil for oh, all intents and purposes. Oh no! Yep, I'm Dominion, oh, and I'm evil. No. So Monica, are you rolling Exile of Dominion? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think story-wise, Exile is the way I want to go. Oh man. Um, Oh, I feel so bad. Because you're the underdog, right? I know, and I love an underdog story. Exactly. But I also love Ooh, I love people. a champ story. Just like someone who just keeps on winning. No big Did deal. Did you see that clutch so you know, meet, the by the way? That was pretty slick. <laughs> Damn, right onto him. From the top of the, <laughs> the, top of the bridge. Uh, That's what's up. I'm like, oh, you want some help, guys? What? No. That's what's From up. From the skies. Dropping in. I'm going to run fast now. That is a speed boost. Yes, it a is. A little flaming person. <laughs> You'll notice Frost is running faster. That is, in fact, a speed boost. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh, my God. That's I, good commentary you know right what? there. Someone's got to be the Madden of this cast, That's all true. right? What is he going to do? Boom! You know, I literally heard Madden say one time, Oh, there's a, you know, the field is made of, of uh, uh, dirt, and it's raining a lot, and that's going to make a lot of mud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes. cool start, bro. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait. Water and water and dirt make mud. Oh, God. <laughs> so uh, meanwhile, meanwhile. Uh, Frost is getting uh, owned right now. A uh, <laughs> lot of telegraphs, and he's not doing anything to stop it. No dodging there, and he's dead. How many times is this now? Is that obvious Dial enough for light. you? Don't, Monica Lee, don't do that to me right now. Well, yes, I've lost this count. Is, this is karma for this ditching is me. Revenge. Damn. 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 Damn indeed. <sighs> Ooh, mask. Guess what I'm going to go get. Joshua Lewis just posted. Yeah, what is uh, what's up, Josh? To all of us. Loving Wildstar so much. Just oh. finished 14 hours nonstop. Hi, Karumba. Hi, Karumba, indeed. Look at his Chua. Look at this thing. Oh, bad look bad how cute ass. He's Dude, cute. that's a badass Chua. Dude, somebody tethered me, by the way. That was, oh, that was good timing, too. Their defense is pretty slick. I yeah. was coming down to They're get the working guy together. They tethered me. I was going to leap over that second. I'm just getting wrecked right now. This is no bueno. This is what happens. They're yeah. absolutely hunting you. But We're you should no use this. Oh, tethered again. Oh. You got to use this as your advantage. Your team, don't help Frost. If you're on Frost's team, don't help him. Don't help him. Let Frost take them away from the other just masks. Let him, yeah. Because they're wrecking right now, dude. Yeah. It's a one to four. Hey, guess what? I leveled up. Don't care. Long hair, don't care. <laughs> long hair, don't care. Oh, how dare you say that? <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's what happened. Awful Let me, I'm scared to look at my stats long right now. Long hair, don't care. My stats. <laughs> All of the stats. Ugh. Ugh. That was god awful. I apologize to everybody that had to watch that. Oof. That was gross. That was disgusting. He <laughs> got that owned was. that whole time. That was really bad. How uh, unfortunate. Isn't it? You though? poor Luckily. unfortunate soul. <laughs> I guess I'll Q again. Yeah. 
Oh, look. Damn. Hey, uh, she is at a level six. She's rated rock. Nice. Should, so, they, should I be going somewhere? Well, yeah, well, I mean, finish up what you're doing. Let me find this bro here. Oh. <laughs> Ouch, oh my god. god a little bit of impatience here. Tony's like, oh. I'll just not be patient. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'll finish this mission. I'm going to queue again. Queue. Do it. God, everybody, it, look, people are playing the game right now, and you're in the mm -hmm. PvPs with me on the Avatis server. What happened? Keep me alive, okay? Please. Or kill him. No, don't do don't do that. I'm usually quite good at this stuff, but the problem is when people actually know who you are. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I mean they dead. group up and Yeah, so that, I know. Hopefully shit. I can come through it. My public profile is at the che or is the cheese in, in game because uh that's just always been my gamer tag. Sure. The cheese. The yeah. cheese. Uh, yeah, the cheese. And uh uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing that very often, though, because I'm afraid the same thing's going to happen to me when I'm in PvP, because I'm, I plan to do a lot of PvP. So I think my personal account will be private. And here's how much I hate myself. I'm actually going to play on a PvP server. Mm. So I can do nothing to turn it off. I'm just going to get wrecked all You're going to get wrecked, dude. But you know what? It's, it's We're okay with that. But the, the people I think I'm going to be playing with will hopefully be pretty rad, too, and uh, keep me alive. That's all I'm hoping for. <laughs> do a Madden off. We kind of did. We, we both kind of suck at it. It was both <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. Let's not do that. I, I still want to do. So, Ian McKellen, I definitely want to do oh, that. Oh, you're going to wreck me on that so one. And Patrick Stewart. We could do Patrick Stewart. Yeah. We could do um, Michael Caine. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we could do that one. Yeah, we. I want to do. But we, I mean, uh, you guys, because I'm awful at those. You I would love to it. see a Monica Lee Michael Caine. Yeah, yeah, let's see it. Come on. Let's all try and do Ma I, Michael I Caine. I couldn't even. Let me tell you, I've done no practice of Michael Caine. I've only seen an impression of it twice. I've done no practice. Okay. I don't even right. know what he. Here we go. I, I'm Michael Caine, and I'm talking through my nostrils. <laughs> That's awful. And this is really awful. Oh, oh my god, this is so even bad. You gave it no, away. I'm, I'm giving it up. Oh, wow. I'm I'm giving that's sorry. horrible. All right. What, what I'm an right. accent is that even? Hey. Well, so it's supposed to be British. Mm. Uh, it's just supposed to be British. I'm I'm Michael. Oh, wait, wait. I'm Michael Caine. I'm, I'm, no, oh, that's too I, southern. Too southern. Ah. Yeah, it is too southern. I'm going so southern. Oh, I'm like low-key embarrassed about this. <laughs> I, get, I get embarrassed about very few things. I'm a little embarrassed about that. That was pretty god-awful. Michael Caine I just here's, threw out there. Here's how it's going to be bad. If I'm owning in PvP and I'm doing a Michael Caine. Do it. All right. At the same time. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Master Bush. That's pretty good, right? Oh, okay, that's, it's okay. That's good. I'll right. give you a C. Look, and I'm only basing that off well, your I other could impressions. Do, I could do it again and get a little bit more. Uh, look at this. I'm going to destroy this robot. Because I hate robots, so Master Bush. He's so annoying. Master <laughs> Bush. You see what I do? I destroyed this robot. Okay, so I did it again. I destroyed this robot right in front of everyone. What's your Batman impression now? <laughs> Which Batman? Dark, Dark Knight. Uh, so the reason. Listen one. to me. Dude, yeah. Oh, Chris. <laughs> you basically do a metal voice. Harvey. Swear to me. Swear to me. You were echoing both here and in my ears. Terrifying. Dude, you gotta like. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you did this to me. <laughs> that sounds like Cartman as Dark Knight. <laughs> That's because he sounds like it. It's kind of the worst. <laughs> I I don't know. The, the Batman. Did you say Christian. it sounds like Cartman? Cartman to you? Cartman as the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> the, he, I don't know. I can't believe you said that. I'm so tired. Hey, can I come play with I'm you? So tired. For us, is that okay? In the PvP? Can I come play? Yeah, yeah. Um, so here's next time. Or are you in Celestian yet? No, I don't know. Oh, no, you not. gotta run the Celestian. So then I we can't do play the with PvPs. you. Uh, yeah, we can. You just gotta uh, be in the same area that I'm in, and then we can both queue at the same time. Join as a group, and we're good to go. That's all the things you have to do. Or actually, you could probably do it from there, too. So Excuse me, Tony, where do I go? Yeah, as long as you're level 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, we're, you're good. So let's, uh. You can't jump out of this, huh? Boom! No, no, I gotta finish this. You gotta finish I can't this. abandon these people. That's true. Well, let's wait, because we, we can only show one camera angle anyway. So let's comment on how horrible he is. No, okay, let's, let's judge him. Uh, so he's got uh, Actually, zero I've masks been doing right now. Really well. <coughs> yeah, you've got zero masks. Is that what you think is really well? Is uh, that what, uh, no, I, is that what you think? Maybe his definition is just hey, being alive. Uh, yeah, and also, keep an eye out on the messages in the bottom left for the uh, the uh, broadcast for when we're going to be going down for that hotfix patch, uh, Frost, because yeah. I cannot read that. I have terrible uh, eyesight. I cannot see. Okay. So I'd like you to keep track. You have glasses too. I know Dude, I have that's glasses, what's up, Monica. That guy's <laughs> so I'm Michael Kite. I'm, I'm Michael Kite. <laughs> oh, wait. 
No, I think I'm getting it. No, I'm nope, not. No, nope, that's a negative. I'm Michael Caine. I'm Michael or Caine. Or a bit more articulated, maybe. What you need to think about is, it's got to be what you need more. to think about is, yeah, it's, better. it's got to be, You're getting it. I'm Michael Caine. What you should do is work yes. it out on the stream. No, I'm working it out on the stream while you're there. Oh, God, it's so bad. I usually work out my impressions in the privacy of my own house and not By in yourself. front of <laughs> thousands of people. <laughs> you want to do an Ian McKellen off? We'll do that one, Holy too. shit, I have not practiced that either. It's going to be bad. All right. All right, I let's do it. They sound like. I can't imagine what they sound so like. So, Gandalf or Magneto? Gandalf. Right. Gandalf. Gandalf. So it'd be you a should not pass, right? My dear Frodo back on He's so annoying! Yes, you're pretty good. Shut I'm up, Monica. I know. You don't Thank need you, it. Monica. I appreciate that. Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. You shall not pass. Uh, he didn't you sound more like Smog. He, yeah, smog. I'll say. Smog. What you gotta do That's is what like I was going for. Okay. <laughs> it was uh, Smog. No, no. It was Smog reading the lines of Gandalf. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ugh. That's all right. I'll take that one too. No, fine. So You're good at impressions, Frost. Okay. Can you do Sherlock? Something uh, with the batch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. Uh, I have to hear his voice. I'm gonna say probably no, cause he's he's got a deeper, sexier voice than I do. So. I'm a Cumberbitch. Say it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Easy. Oh, there, there's your walking right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying how good he is at impressions right off the bat. It's so annoying. You should challenge him to a nunchuck off then. Yeah, he'd probably beat me at oh, that. I'd, yeah, I'd whip your ass in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nunchucks? I got you wrecked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wrecked for days. So, um, you're still at zero. Zero masks. And uh, uh, Dominion is uh, three masks. Hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Well, I won't uh, because I'm, I'm commenting. <laughs> I'm commenting people. on it. Uh, I have not seen the uh, the messaging yet, so I, I'm not sure how long. Uh, about uh, nine minutes, actually. So we got about nine minutes. I think after you're done with this, so we'll go ahead, ahead and uh, call it as far as gameplay goes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's so, correct. Monica, I apologize. <laughs> no, I don't want to play them anymore. <laughs> I left you to die. I don't even want to. You left him to die, and then and now she can't even play PvP. You're just the worst kind of person. I'm sorry. Told you we're done, though. Well, yeah, sorry, Monica. This is <laughs> awful. This right. is awful. I apologize, Monica. Oh, no, stop it. All right, fine. Nobody oh. likes I you. I forgive you, Ian McKellen. Yes. Dude, I can't believe. Let's be friends. Well, I can't believe how hardcore I just died right there. That was like. That was pretty brutal. It was like nine dudes. I'm Michael Kite. Oh, no. I'm Michael Kane. I'm I'm <laughs> You keep going southern, which I is know. my favorite. I'm Michael Kane. <laughs> I'm sitting here on my porch drinking my marmalade and I'm Michael Kane. Are you marmalade? Paula Dean? <laughs> 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 uh, this is by the way, this is what happens when we don't sleep and we work on the game. Oh night. dude, you go crazy. this is so <laughs> true. This is so true. Uh if you have any suggestions for impressions that we, uh, I could suck at some more, uh, tweet me at Tony Ray or uh, like at Stephen Frost. No, oh, they're so bad. I'm so bad at them. You got so you got some British inside you? Oh, uh, no. No. I was gonna, and then I just quit. Fall out of the head. Okay. Good call. Hey, I'm getting a mask. Oh my God. Hey, look at now. Here's the thing that I like about this. This game can change so quickly. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, it be like three nothing, and then boom, you, the the other team comes back real quick. So uh, you could turn it around, or you know, you could die right now. Dude, this. So here's what's helpful. Just pro tip, not to be that guy that complains about his team, but if you, <laughs> well, I'm gonna complain about my team. Yeah. Complain about my team. Uh, it's good to have somebody that can CC while you're running, right? Right. So that while that guy gets stunned. Or if I can get heals from somebody, that would yeah. be lovely. Yeah, you're, oof. Oh, I got it. Oh, good. Oh, you're helping yes. so low, though. Yes, I got it. There That's all go. that matters right now that I got that. He, he's going to get the kill right now. Or maybe he won't. Guess what? Ooh, I'm that out. was nice. Dude, that was a sick dodge. Dude, that's what. That's what's up. That was sick. Good job. Thanks, man. Uh, and hopefully they can kill that person in there because yeah. I'm near death. Yeah. You need some time to heal. You yeah. need a healer to hit you up with some, some good old... Oh, there's a lot of dudes. Oh, Ooh, don't run Oh, there's so many dudes everywhere. Go down there. No. They're healing down ah. there. They're healing down there. Dude, but uh-uh. There's red everywhere. Uh-uh. <laughs> Who says uh-uh anymore? Uh-uh. I do. I, when there's red everywhere. Oh, man. <laughs> do not want. Man, 
Look at that. Okay, here we go. From Steve. Try. Uh, I would. I would love to see you try and pull off Bane's voice. Oh, dude, I got Bane for days. Let's do you it. You gotta do the holding of the thing. Yeah, of course. Though, right? you, yeah, it's. Oh, man. It's kind of hard for me to do PVP and do Bane. Oh. But Why? I'm gonna. Well, because I gotta hold the thing. He's gotta uh, hold his straps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The the thing on the face. You, okay. Hold on. You ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna try one hand. Batman, I don't think you understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I can't do oh, it. man. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold oh, on. Oh, <laughs> So, Batman, you think you like to hang out and have fun, do you? <laughs> it's so bad, dude. It's good. It's so bad. Look, the only look thing that's good is the fact that you're holding you're your covering, hand. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that's good about it is that I can't understand what you're saying because in that movie, I don't care what you said, I didn't know what oh. the hell Tom Hardy was saying. Uh. I'd have to hear the voice again. Oh, there we go. You're it's coming there? back. It's coming back oh, to me. It's Tony. okay, dude. I don't know. Uh, I think I've got it now. I know you don't. Why, George? He's got it. I think you should I'm shut up. I'm <laughs> too. <laughs> 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 I'd have to hear him again. If I could hear it, I could do it. Oh, um, William Shatner. Oh, I got Can that. Can I press that one? Yeah. Oh, my God. You've got to play the game and talk at the same time. <laughs> it's so hard to do. It is inevitable. You have to play the game. <laughs> PvP is now. Dude, you know who actually does a killer William Shatner? Who? Is, uh, one Corey Herndon, the guy that does the oh, voice really? of PT Rotostar and is a narrative designer here. Yeah, he uh, he was awesome. We I did uh, I did a Vine with him uh, dude, Tony, you're last Vine? night. Oh, what? Dude. Be my Vine buddy. Yeah, you don't. Have you been watching the vines? No, no I know I've vine just up oh. to now. Oh, uh, okay. I'm kind of addicted to vine. Okay, I am too. <laughs> We're gonna vine out. Okay. Uh, okay. Tally just sent me a direct message. Uh, Tally has been uh, streaming for 32 hours straight. Holy Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a lot of people watching him. Definitely check out his stream. Uh, 32 hours straight. He's he's taking a little bit of a break, and uh, he's taking <laughs> you know 32 hours. Good lord. He's taking, taking a, a nap. Break. Yeah, taking a break, and then uh, he'll be back. So uh, if you've been watching Tally, uh, great job, dude. Holy crap. I wonder what uh, what level he's, he's 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 power leveling as well. So is Co Carnage. Uh, Co Carnage is power leveling on Twitch. I don't know if he's live still. He's been going straight for a while, too. Uh, so go ahead and check out Co Carnage and uh, definitely Tally on Twitch. Uh, yeah, that, that's awesome, dude. 32 hours. Good lord. We're doing three, and I'm like, Whoo! Three hours. I'm tired. Ah. Food break. Okay, so. Food break. <laughs> I wish. Need to get this kill on this person. Yeah, it's this not is, gonna happen. So this strategy, by the way, that both teams are doing is just plain awful. <laughs> like, there's no. <laughs> again, again, he doesn't mean to be the guy that complains about his team. Mm, it's pretty bad. Or but the other team. But, but I'm gonna complain yeah. about this team and the other team. <laughs> well, both of us, like we, you're so focused, and this is partially my fault too. Because I'm, I'm just trying for the murder. Uh, really, you should be going for the movie masks. Right, of course. Yeah, and uh, well, I think you need a balance of both. Yeah, I mean, murdering while you get movie masks is the optimal way to do it. But uh, what I'm doing is just dying all the time uh, instead. That was awful. Surprise, though. Yeah, I mean, thanks for that. It's two to four, though. So you got that. <sighs> yeah. You I got mean, that going for you. Got better. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, my whole team sucks and the other team sucks. I keep dying <laughs> now, but we, we got two masks, so I got that going that for me. Suck. <laughs> it's just we're not doing it right. What was that like, voice? That was, uh, what the hell? Caddyshack. You know? I think that might be a little before my time. I mean, me yeah. too. I'm a youngin. Still, it's a good movie. Uh, you're but talking Bill Murray. Caddyshack. Yeah, of course. Okay. Bill Murray. Caddyshack. I just couldn't tell. So. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> See, that was good trash. I think oh, we're going man. down soon. Uh, so, yeah, we are, and uh, so is my team. <laughs> it's four to two right now. Zoinks. Zoinks. Zoinks, Scoob. Like, we got to get out of here. That was really good. Me or him? Uh, who was the last one? Oh, you are the worst. Oh, no. You know. Come on, Tony. You know who won that. I'm just saying. I feel like it got worse. It got better. No, I think it got worse. I have to show you my Scooby-Doo cosplay. Oh. You have a Scooby-Doo cosplay? I was Scooby-Doo. I could be Shaggy, I think. <laughs> Now that I think it was about Jack it. Cut. Everyone was drunk, okay? Okay. <laughs> I want to see it. It needs to be there's, shaggy. There's pictures. Okay. <laughs> I'd be intrigued. Tony Love Frosty. Okay. <laughs> Tony Love. <laughs> Thank you. Is that what it is? Rad, uh, Radovin Wildstar. Tony Love Frosty. Okay. 
I do love Frosty. Oh, oh no. no. There's the downtime. You know, really, Craig uh, helped you out because you were going to lose in that movie. <laughs> um, so we have we have gone down. We are, This is a scheduled downtime. We are hot fix patching right now. We have Craig in the building. He's going to provide us with an update. But first, I'm going to do that giveaway real quick. Craig, do you have the time for me to do that? You good? Okay. Then I'm going to do a giveaway right now on Twitch. If you have been chatting, you are already entered to win the giveaway. How awesome is that? Super awesome. First prize, boom, one of these slick shirts. Uh, walk around your town repping that sweet wild star swagger. I don't I apologize. No I, don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know why yeah. I do that. So this is really <laughs> weird. Awful. Okay, so the first winner for this shirt. Uh, all you have to be doing is following our Twitch channel and uh, talking in chat. First winner is Head Opener. I like that. Dude, head that's a rad name. Opener. How'd you nail that uh, name? That's pretty cool. All right, next winner for the awesome Roused Hour plushie. Look at this. Just modeled by Monica Lee. Modeled, yeah. <laughs> Should I do a Roused Hour? I'm modeling. <laughs> Look at Look, Look at me modeling. He is adorable. Totes adorbs. Yeah, totes adorbs. Yeah. The winner of the Roused Hour plushie is Zing, uh, Zinzu. X J I N Z U on Twitch. Congratulations. That was a little racist. What? I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I, Zing, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to pronounce X's I'm in words. I'm not, no. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that. Now, uh, for this prize, we have the Logitech rechargeable mouse. Very, very, very cool. Oh, damn. And that winner is going to Silena82. S I L E N A 82. Congratulations. You Congrats. have won the mouse. That's what's up. Boom. That is what's up. Now, don't fret, my babies. If you have not won anything all day, uh, because, yeah, they're, they're all my babies. They're all my, my Twitch chat babies. See? There's the Twitch chat. I'm petting it. <laughs> weird <laughs> what the hell i need sleep that's what it is <laughs> I need to stop sure. drinking monster energy drinks and i need some damn sleep where's my monster the, i'm sorry <laughs> the uh in the light at the last hour we're gonna give away another shirt another roused hour and then what i like to call the mac daddy supreme prize uh you're gonna be getting a mouse a logitech mouse a logitech mouse pad a logitech keyboard a logitech headphone and then the deluxe edition to wildstar Mac Daddy Supreme. Mic drop. Super rad. Boom. So we're going to give away, once again, three prizes in the next hour, and that is the shirt, the Roused Hour, and the Mac Daddy Supreme. Uh, thank you so much for thank hanging you. out. We're uh, We have Craig here. He's going to jump in and give us a quick update. We l Like I said, we just uh, went down for the hot fix, so I'm looking forward to uh, hearing what he has to say. Craig, you want to take over Frost again? Yeah, take over mine. It's fine. I, you probably don't want mine because mine's real sweaty. Ooh. Moist. Real, oh, God, why? <laughs> that is the worst word ever. I remember you hated that word. It, it, no, there we go. <sighs> you do have a small head. And I see, so am I going to sit down? Or it's the word. disembodied voice oh, of Coog. I don't know how it is. Uh, that kind of works. <sighs> okay. So we're, we're kind of ballsy here, by the way, because... My my guys down in Austin were like, you're taking the servers down at prime time. And I'm like, no, no, it's before prime time. I'm trying to split the prime time. I'm trying to, you know, have a, a right between balls sort of a and. What are uh, you seeing? I'm just there. gonna let it keep going. <laughs> it didn't. Down. It didn't work. It didn't work. So basically, we we've got a lot of good fixes here um, that we're trying to split between North America and EU prime time. We understand that everybody's trying to play right now. We we want you to play. Um, my teams are really fatigued, and so doing a midnight for us patch tonight might be a little risky. Um, doing a patch right now where lots and lots and lots of players are going to slam our auth servers at the same time also might be a little risky, especially considering what happened last night when we flipped the switch. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of brace for impact right here, but we're hoping that things like the Zor fix, some of the hung load screens and whatnot, we're going to fix through this. Um, we're crossing our fingers on that one a little bit. Uh, the Zor, I'm a little bit more hopeful for on that one. But the patch notes, I'll, I'm just going to read the patch notes, Tony. Dude, yeah, go for not, it. You know? yeah, yeah, for sure, man. So, I mean, people, th this is kind of like a new thing. We've never really done this. Like, yeah. we, you're literally getting live updates. This Is this even on the forums yet? 
I don't know if it's on the farms yet or not. Probably I mean, it's not. Coming, it's coming hot. We're yeah, it's, it it's, it's coming in hot. Live. A little late breaking news. And I'm walking around with this everywhere because it's <laughs> my lifeblood. So we're fixed an occasional crash resulting from the right click to report spam. I talked about that earlier where people were having trouble, you know, crashing themselves instead of banning the bad guys, which I'm all for banning the bad guys in this case. Muting, not banning. We don't do any <laughs> automatic banning. We have to have fun pressing the button. I do. I know. I know. Next up, uh, we fixed an exploit that was allowing some users to bypass the server queue. Hmm. Perhaps one can mention or remember the early part of the stream where I said the bad guy and we rewarded. Perhaps this Perhaps. is related. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, yes, they're on forums. That is apparently what my live producer Wentward is telling me. The patch notes are on the forums. Perfect. Good. Uh, what do we got next? The fixed an issue causing the character create screen to be mm. blank after the queue popped. Also talked about this one earlier. The nice thing about this one, as as director of operations and doing all these patches and whatnot, one of the th the safest things to patch is sound, because the worst thing that can happen is a sound doesn't play. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a hot fix patch note less than 24 hours because of a sound bug. This is funny to me because I'm an ops guy. <laughs> Uh, the when the queue popped, it was supposed to play a sound. Uh -huh. The sound wasn't existing, and it decided that if the sound couldn't play, neither could you. You could not have the character select really? screen at that point. It is important as sound. I agree with you on that one. Wow. So that that's just funny to me because sound is the safest thing, and sound has broken the game. Sound. It'll make it'll make our audio director Charlie Lanus very happy. <laughs> Shout out to him and his team. Uh, the Bag of Awesomeness can now be rebound via the Account Services UI if the player character no longer has the bag in the inventory. So just oddities with that. We're trying to get the account inventory, the entitlements, all that stuff buttoned up. Uh, we fixed a rare, eh, less rare in the past couple hours server crash related to pathing. So we got that squared away. Um, and our guys in the GSU are active as heck in the past couple hours, uh, the past 24 as we're getting to it. And we've added more cheat detection into the game. Always a good thing. So that's that. Hopefully we can get the hotfixes deployed. You guys should have a small patch on the client or on the patcher. I'm not sure how big that patch is going to be, but it should be pretty pretty quick. Uh, my email's blowing up as we're doing things. Uh, hotfixes have been deployed. Restarts are complete. So that means that the CS team at this point is going to do a quick login check. Uh, they're going to make sure that the world's spin up, that we didn't completely bork anything. A technical term, of course. Yep, for sure. Uh, so the CS uh, at live updates here. CS are now smart starting their smoke tests. Once that happens, we're going to bring everything back up. Uh, we're going to go test. both both. No, not that type of smoke no, no, test. <laughs> do you do you know why we call it a smoke test? Just see what happens. No, I have no idea. This he, he, he just doesn't know these things. No, no, no. See, I know. See, <laughs> no, no. I, oh I know. <laughs> I know. No, I know what a smoke test is. Uh, but the audience, like, I want you to explain it for the audience, not me for the audience. Smoke All test. Right. We so basically go out to do a pretty quick five to ten minute, sometimes fifteen minute test where we're looking for smoke because where there's smoke, there's fire. Right. And so, what did we break? But so that's why we call it a smoke test. That makes sense. I probably could have guessed that, <laughs> but whatever. I don't mind saying I don't know something. Clearly. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> I enjoy talking with you guys. I'm now going to go brace for impact as we press the button and bring everything back up. Ludicrous speed. It is sort of ludicrous speed. Good luck. Um, <laughs> know that we've got a lot of people on it, and uh, if this works, I will have pats on my back, and if this doesn't work, I'm going to be really busy for the next uh, year. Really busy. Yeah. And the, hey, I already said the, the internet, internet blame. You know, we're trying to fix things. We're trying to get rid of bad guys. We're trying to get rid of spammers with this. We're trying to fix Zor. So we've got a lot of things in here that I think is worth worth the risk. I just hope it pans out. Yeah, Happy me too, win. man. All right, bye. Good luck, dude. You guys need your team needs some rest. So I hope that does work out. Uh, thank you again to Craig uh, uh, Turner for coming out, and uh, yeah, Cougar at Cougar DC on Twitter at Cougar DC. Uh, that's awesome. He's literally running from across the building. He's running over here. I know he is because I know how that man works. Running over here to give us these updates. Running back to to, uh, to keep uh, yeah fixing them. So awesome that we're getting these uh, these live updates, and those are already posted on the forums. Uh, so go ahead and check out our forums if uh, if you missed any of those patch notes because we have them. We are down right now, so we're going to stop with the gameplay. But we've got some more questions. We've got some uh, some stuff on the... Uh, more impressions to be had. <laughs> more <laughs> impressions to be had. Now, uh, this was one of my favorites. I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, we 
just just as a reminder, we're going to do, like, if you have a question, uh, hit us up on Twitter. Uh, Tyler, are we able to do uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch, Twitter questions right now or no? Are you sure? Yeah, okay. I mean, we just had an update, so if you have any questions about the update, we're not going to be able to answer them because the man that was just left, uh, and he's got, he's obviously very busy. So uh, let's go ahead and answer a question as Peter Griffin. <laughs> okay. Let's what's, go for it. What's you, the question? Yeah, you do a really good Peter Griffin. So, uh, let's see. There was one that was really good. Uh, They're all impression requests. I know. I don't. No, I don't remember where. Tell us more about you getting pulled over. I mean, there's not much to it. You know, you drive <laughs> fast, you get a ticket, you make a joke about Wildstar. They don't like it. <laughs> and now moist. I'm getting spammed with moist. That is okay. That is the worst word in the English language. There's Tony no other word. Tony loves moist. Voice, voice, voice. Monica Lee, <laughs> I dislike you right now. <laughs> I dislike you very much. Uh, if you have, oh, uh, Tally just gave me an update. He is at a level 20 right now. 32 hours that man put in Damn. is at a level Jeez. 20. This game is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go into Twitch. Uh, go ahead and ask any questions that you want on Twitch. Uh, if you know, if if Tyler can pull some up. Cool. If not, uh, <laughs> and Twitch chat is all moist, 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 moist. moist. Well played. Back to Twitter. Oh, what? That's <laughs> weird that they would be saying that. Uh, anyway, what questions you got, man? Go. Let, let's do this. Uh, answer. Uh, let's talk about wh which. Uh, okay, perfect. Which uh, which server are you going to be playing on? Oh, so people man. know. I have to tell people this. Uh, I guess you don't. No, that's fine. No, I, I, I can. No, no, that's fine. It's fine. What I, is the best or the worst? What? Makes well, it's kind of hard to say, uh, really, and there's no worse server. Okay. Well. Ding, right? <laughs> uh, uh, I think that, that corporate smile. So, I know. <laughs> I'm playing PvP, so no matter where I'm going to be at, I'm going to be on a PvP server. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to have a bunch of alts, so I'll I'll have some on uh, uh, Pago. I think I'll have some. Like I have one right now on Widow, um, and then I'm probably going to do another one on the one we just opened recently, which was the Battle Sworn or uh, Blood Sworn. So Blood Sworn. I, yeah, I'll probably put one on Bloodsworn as well. Usually I'm rolling Dominion. I'll probably have one Exile because the problem is I still have friends that are like, oh, I was going to roll Exile. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. Thanks for that. Now I have to roll Exile. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. I Sorry. It's so. I'm so going to have an alt. I'm going to have an alt. I'm doing Dominion first. I'm going to give Dominion a, the real good yeah. college try. But I might. I, I will have an alt with uh, with that. Uh, Tyler is, is trying to fix the, the, the our question system. It is not working right now, unfortunately. Uh, so that's who you see going back and forth. Um, the Eagles dance. Well, not a question, but thanks for for the awesome game and launch. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Someone wants your laptop cover. Someone wants my laptop cover. Uh, this is... Awesome. There's like two of them, I think, left I, in, yeah. the in the world, and I took one of them, so there's one now. <laughs> I, I apologize. It's cool, dude. Don't worry about it. I can try and pull questions from Twitch myself. You're, you're good. I, I don't want to stress you out. It's, it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, one of the questions actually was, what is our favorite healing class? Uh, for me, I, it's probably the medic, um, just because I like uh, a lower, or I mean a medium range on the heals. Um, the one that's fun and more skill-based, I would say, is the Spellslinger. Um, okay. But if you're looking for a traditional healing class, Esper is probably the way to go for you. But me, I like the Medic because I like getting up into uh, enemies' areas and, and healing friends. It's a lot of fun. So would you say Spellslinger is like your classic mage class? I would say so. Yeah, it's pretty damn close to that. Um, and with the uh, the heals on that, you know, ours are a lot more skill shot based with mm -hmm. the... Uh, with that class specifically and if when you hit somebody with those it's like damn that's some heals right there but at the same time it's a lot harder to hit them with that because it's a skill shot so uh the medic kind of covers more ground and has a medium armor whereas the other two healers have a light armor class oh very important question from uh kagogi uh, uh will the store will a store open for wildstar and will we be able to buy framed photos of tony ray <laughs> that's a great question voiced that's a great answer. <laughs> uh, we are planning on... So gross! <laughs> uh, I think at some point we would love to get a uh, a store open. The, the main focus that we have right now, obviously, is getting this game live and awesome. And, you know, to the point of where we don't have to have people staying awake for 72 hours on end. So uh, the main focus, again, right now is, is that after that, 
who knows? Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests for like the Razz Hour stuff, for yep. T-shirts, yeah. for things along Some those lines. Some of them licensed products. Yeah, Jury exactly. Girl. You would know a thing or two about that. So, smidge. <laughs> smidge. <laughs> so we, I think we should definitely get a store. Uh, but the question is when, and you know, we want to make sure the game is good first and launched. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. The crowds definitely. want their swag. I know. Speaking of the crowds and what they want, uh, not only are they saying moist a whole hell of a lot, they're saying <laughs> Wildstar is back up already. Is it? Let's that check. was a really quick 15 minutes. Tony, log me in here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. By the way, um, do, 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 do. Twitch chat uh, and, and other people on the social medias, would you be interested in seeing a live stream uh, where we talk with Jeff Kurtnacker? He is our music composer. Uh, he's one of my favorite people at Carbine, uh, and the music that has been in the game is stellar, in my opinion. Uh, so I would love to know if you guys would be interested in having... I'd be interested. Huh? I'd be interested. You'd be interested? Yeah. I mean, I'd he's freaking awesome. So. Dude, he really is. And not only is he freaking awesome, but he's also a Packers fan. <laughs> that's pretty badass. The Packers. The Bakers, and that's uh, I'm definitely a Packer backer myself. Um, so yeah, uh, actually, some here's a here's a really cool thing about Jeff. Um, Dude, I love this. Twitch chat's like, yes, yes, absolutely, yes. We'll we'll that's definitely great. have some stuff where we'll have Kurt Nacker on. And we'll talk about um, how people he, love the soundtrack. So yeah. let me let me tell you something. Not only will we have a stream with Jeff on for sure. Yeah. But on Monday, on Monday. We are adding something to the prize pool. All weekend long, we're giving away we're giving away some uh, Logitech, some Nvidia stuff, uh, some Wildstar swag. Uh, we've got some Alienware stuff on Monday, but also on Monday. Also on Monday, we have a signed original score of Wildstar. Ooh. The score, the musical score of Wildstar, signed by Jeff Kurtnacker and the whole uh, ensemble. Is that what they're called? <laughs> Is that what they're called? The what? orchestra? The orchestra. Thank you, Monica Lee. I was a bad geek. I am I was in choir, and I can't believe I didn't remember what orchestra was. Noob. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, yes, the, uh, the it is all signed. You have to patch. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would <laughs> yeah. help, huh? You know, we'd, uh, ha we just had a patch. A hot, we just had a patch. A so uh, Usually, you patch after a patch. Patched. What so I was trying to do is log in. Weird. And I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Uh, anyway, uh, so on Monday, bad. we are going to be uh, doing three of those. Uh, Four of those. We're going to need four of those on Monday. That's super cool. That's pretty freaking slick. I mean, we've never we've never given these out, okay? Yeah. We've never given them out as a, uh, as a prize or anything. So it's going to be a pretty damn cool uh, day on Monday. So definitely tune in for that. Um, I'm going to see if I can score some more. Maybe I'll give out two tomorrow. We'll see. There's not a whole lot left. I mean, it's original score, signed by yeah, the whole – for, for everybody. That's a pretty sweet thing. Uh, so – yeah, people. <laughs> Holy crap! I want it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so, so definitely tune in for that because that's gonna be sweet. Oh shit! We did not do Peter Griffin. Oh well, whatever. It's that fine. was your we've, time. We've done it before. I yeah. know, but people have not seen it. Some uh, some of the. Hmm. <laughs> I just now opened my time. Twitter and there's just more. More moist. More moist. <laughs> I put a moist. Looks like I have a tattoo of Thank moist you, on my Monica forehead. Lee. Yeah, thank you, Monica. I really appreciate that. All right, so we're back in game. Uh, we've got – it's 434 right now. Uh, we've got about another uh, – little less than half an hour. We're going to do another giveaway. Why don't we jump into some uh, some PvP? You want to go back into PvP? All right. Me, I uh, think uh, I think we'd do another match with uh, with Monica in there as well. Yeah. Teach me. Okay. Senpai. Sure, sure so where to get in. I'm going to pull up some more questions. Need to invite you again. So okay. you are slash invite – and that's M O N I K A L E E. Yes, sir. All right, so you just you got an join? invite. Yeah, man. Okay, cool. You join a party. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is look How up I find you. Uh, well, I'm in uh, another area. You can actually go run ahead. I believe you don't need even need to tank out, take out the tank. So if you run towards uh, the bottom of the hill uh, or towards Ooh. the fort, which I think is up that way uh, you can actually get in here so uh, even if you're not though I think we can still find the same area but let me get uh, How do I find do you like what you see? repair some gear well I don't know if we need to be in the same area or not so let's find out uh, and let's go with I'll kill some dudes in the meantime this is a good question actually I did not explain this uh, 
Toki Doki on Twitter <gasps> um, asked, um, how did Towley put in 32 hours when Head Start was only at midnight? He actually started um, way before Head Start began uh, streaming. He had started like this uh, pre pre Head Start uh, party where he was playing music and doing giveaways and having uh, Q and A. It was like this whole big thing, and so that's how he put it. How he's put in 32 hours. It's not 32 hours of Wildstar gameplay. Uh, yeah, because obviously he couldn't play until midnight uh, last night. But um, but yeah, he he still had been streaming. So uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, so I just uh, queued. And Match has been found. Except. Yeah, Boom. so now, Monica, oh, we are both in here. Snaps. How do I do this? Teach me. Okay, so oh what, my God. what we need to it's do terrifying. is it's all about masks, Kay. right? So we need to get those masks, and I need to stop focus on murdering people so much. Yeah, and you probably should do that. Yeah, and just uh, focus so on getting the mask. So what kay. you do is you just run up to a gold mask. You uh, right-click on it. It will collect. You are then slowed down, and if you use a movement ability... Uh, like a leap while yeah. you do it, you actually drop, drop the mask. Okay, so you no don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, that dashing, it stops you on doing that too. So it slows you down. The, the key is you want to get five of these masks. Once mm -hmm. you get those five, uh, you have won the and game. you want to bring them to a certain area? You do. Um, and you can also steal some from the other opponent's side, which is a pretty cool little mechanic as well. I kept it. So uh, we always get a little buffer time here before the match starts. Um, you can also look out. There are, uh, as Tony was talking about earlier, we have... Uh, buff icons on the ground that you can pick up where you can run faster or you get a little buff to your um, assault power. So that's pretty good too. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a question from Twitch that Tyler has so graciously uh, gotten. Can I get into uh, this from Kawasak, uh, Kawasaku? Uh, can I get into Wildstar if I buy the game today? Yes. Uh, you can buy, you can purchase, uh, you can purchase a pre-order today, and you can start playing right now. You do not have to wait until uh, Tuesday, uh, June third. You can play right now. Dead head start. Dead head start, though. All right. So, what we're doing is getting that mask first, and it's All on right. the ground over here. So just follow the group here. We got another qu uh, quick question. Uh, I, I know you haven't pulled this up yet, Tyler, but. Um, this is from Scrotor in uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. God. Well in Twitch chat. Uh, is there going to be a monthly fee with this game? Yes. Uh, yes, there will be a monthly fee uh, with the game. But we do have a cred system that we, uh, that we are implementing Oof. at launch, uh, which is going to basically be a way where you earn your subscription uh, so you don't have to pay one by playing the game. Yeah, basically the way that works is if you've uh, seen something like Plex from EVE, same yep. thing. Basically, it's uh, I have a lot of money. I can buy my subscription on the market by somebody else who purchases a subscription, and they get all the money that you did, and it kind of uh, gets them the cash that they need to buy rad stuff, but it also screws over gold farmers, to, which we love. Yes, we love screwing gold farmers. Um, you do, to, to clarify, you have a lot of in-game money, right. and so you pay uh, that person the in-game money, yes. not, that, not, not that you're just rolling around with Benjamins right. in your wallet, like in, -game in real life. Yeah, gold, yeah. if you yeah, will. Yeah. Gold. Gold. You so. love guild. PVP is terrifying. Hey, you know what? You're not doing bad though. I mean, you're you're I don't kind think of I'm hitting anyone. no. You're like striking and then evading. Strike and then you evade. I like that. It's uh, it's tricky. Jesus, blurg! Ooh, I just killed someone. That's Ooh. cool. Oh so yeah, when that Monica pops up, die. you want to hit the. the oh, cube. oh, I was too oh. late. I'm sorry. I tried. What was happening? <laughs> you died. You it's, just, it's pretty insane. So many bright colors. <laughs> yes, yes. There's a whole lot to look out for. We've got the uh, the telegraphs all over the place. People are shooting stuff. It's crazy. It's it is it is hard to keep track of. But I think once you keep playing it, you kind of uh, see the different telegraphs. You see who's trying to use what on you, yeah. and you're able to kind of react accordingly. Okay, so Boom! Okay, come here. here. Smash, smash, smash. Dude, there's uh, a I have another question for you. Uh, Trout, Ambush, uh, any any plans for Vanity Pets in the game? Yeah, post-launch. Um, that will be... Wait, 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 wait. You are saying that we can't get this in in the next two days. <laughs> I'm saying... <laughs> sorry. Unacceptable. Yeah. We're I want you to busy. go there right now. I'll go tell Craig. Yeah, uh, boy. We gotta get that. In. We're gonna need another hot fix. Uh, we probably will do that post launch. Um, ah, yeah. too many buttons. Uh, but it's a little bit difficult to do, you know, this second. Uh, but we know people love pets. We love pets too. Um, 
Oh, hey, by the way, I'm gonna murder this guy. What's the die? Murder! Murder! Cheat and steal! I'm dead. You're dead again. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Got it's him. Okay. That's what's up. It's okay, baby girl. You keep doing it. I hit a person, though. <laughs> <Yeah. Make> progress. <laughs> I hit one man, uh, one, one guy, and uh, <laughs> then I died. It's so one more than last This time. team is doing, yes. uh, the opposing team is actually doing a really good job. You'll notice that there's yeah, a sure. healer traveling with the person that's carrying the mask, that's, and there's two other people smart. that are keeping that guy alive and people like me away from them. Yeah, that is strategy right there. Yeah. And strategy wins PvP. Yep. Boom. So it's what I did there. Over. Yeah, I tried to CC that one guy so that I could leap to get the person that was carrying. Didn't quite they work. They CC'd you right back. They did that. <laughs> so. uh, take your CC and I'll raise you another. Yeah. Is that um, Michael Caine attempt again? <laughs> Damn. Sick burn. I didn't see that coming. Did not even see that coming. And no, it wasn't, but uh, that, my non-attempt was better than whatever the hell I was doing earlier. Okay. Oh, hey, God. I'm coming to you, bro. Oh, cool. Uh, actually, you probably, uh, let's run out of here, because it's real bad in here. Here's a good question. Uh, for, I don't know. <laughs> Neither of you saw that, but the stream saw that. I pointed at the question, and then I did the gun move, like I'm some kind of like <laughs> car salesman. There's a good question right there. Cacao, cacao. <laughs> Weird. I need sleep. Combustible Lemon 5. Why should I play Wildstar other, other, over other MMOs? Uh, so I think Wildstar's combat is what separates us from other MMOs. Yeah. Uh, if you can see in the PvP, it's a lot more movement-based, it's a lot more skill-based, um, and it means that you're actually going to have a lot more fun when it comes to moving around and really using your abilities with uh, kind of precision, and it really takes a lot of skill to do this. Uh, so I like that, personally. Um, also, our dungeons are insane. Um, yeah, they are we've, sh we've shown that. Uh, they, yeah. they are... They are pretty in in intense. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, yeah. So Stop moving. So yeah, that Sorry. that is the uh, that is the the uh, the two things that that I love the most about this game is PvP and dungeons. Uh, the, the dungeons take some skill to figure out, but the telegraph system is funny. Uh, you know, I've said this a bunch of times. A lot of people kind of go, "Oh, well, the telegraphs it just denotes where you're going to hit." Isn't that easy? It's like no, no, it it. They are brutal. Um, they are really difficult, but it's a fun difficult because you know what you did wrong, mm -hmm. uh, and you can learn I from that stuff. Poop. And you can, I mean, look at all these videos online of people playing the game and talking about it. Um, you know, they'll say the same thing where, you know, some people are like, I died a lot, <laughs> and I really liked it. That's me. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not a masochist, I guess. Um, a lot of these guys are, are masochists that, that, that do this stuff. Um, but if, you're, if you're running dungeons, you're masochist for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's rough. It's I mean, rough you saw. I mean, I don't know if you guys were watching the the stream earlier with with Tom Casera, but man, that guy can take some pain and he can also Dude. dish it. So he's the guy that's doing some of the dungeon stuff. So, oh, here's what I'm gonna do: sneaky, sneaky. I uh, I I I think it's not only the combat uh, because I definitely love the the skill based combat of it, but um, I think the customization sets yeah. it apart. Or the, the housing. Oh, housing. Find me one other. MMO with the housing we have. Yeah, it's just you're not, not going to do it. Yeah. You're not going to do it. it. And that's not even being hyperbolic in any sort of way. Like, yeah, it is no. just an advanced, it, crazy deep housing system. It really system. is. I mean, and the the things that you can do. I mean, uh, if you're if you're new if you're new to our streams or if you're new to Wildstar, there was a, a person who built a grand piano out of just different little pieces and parts that that he customized, what literally customized out of little parts. I think it was. I, how many? Eighteen thousand different parts. Eighteen hundred. Yeah. It was a. It was an insane amount of parts that he used to uh, be able to build this piano from scratch. That's insane. It is. It, it really is. And and that's what's available in our housing. Our, our housing is is intense. And the overall like attitude of the game. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it's got a fun, quirky snarkiness yep. that yeah, sure. uh, that I really enjoy because. I don't know. I just like that the game doesn't take itself too seriously while still being super hardcore. Definitely. Also, uh, double jump. <laughs> and double jump. Look at that. That was good times. Pretty sweet. Uh, Pretty sweet that, jump. Was, that was a good CC right there. You got three guys. Yeah, he did. Um, so anyway, that's that's yeah. what I think separates it. I mean, our trade skills are great. Uh, oh, man, we're about to lose. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see, see him carrying you want to avoid them. Oh, no. Oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, man. This is not good. We're about to get... Yeah, there's the, the game. Oh, God, you guys. 
What happened? Where was I? That was rough. That was terrifying. Was terrible. That was rough to watch. That oh, was rough. man. Um, so we're going to be doing another giveaway here in about 10 more minutes. Uh, let's pull another question real quick. Uh, try and forget the fact that you guys just got wrecked. Uh, this is from Rugby Guy 92 Has there been thought of a parking garage for housing somewhere on your housing that you can, uh, that your mounts can be on display for everyone? I think that's super that's sweet. A pretty good idea. Um, no, we we have not done anything like that. I don't know if we're going to, but we have something similar with mannequins. You can have a mannequin in your house and display your awesome armor. Um, but not quite a garage display. So that's, uh, we could run that by Makarski, though, and Eric Hanks, yeah. who's our new art director. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Park your park your cars out front, you know? <laughs> yeah, show off. How you, how you do it in real life. Are we going to have yeah. cars in Wildstar? Well, they're, they're mounts. <laughs> um, right. I would say we have hoverboards, which are awesome. Okay. We have dinosaurs, also awesome. We have these um, bikes like that have uh, a hover front and then a rear big ass wheel it's pretty mm -hmm. awesome yeah. um we've got a lot of weird stuff in the game but i don't know about like cars per se yeah i don't think uh, we're gonna be riding around bit, in like a yeah. in a prius <laughs> meep, meep. yeah <laughs> and oren oren would totally drive a prius oh you yeah know? yeah i would say good so. for the environment yeah. yeah exactly uh we have one from zellikins what profession uses seeds Seeds. seeds. Uh, so cooks will use seeds um, if you want to. Well, that's partially true. I mean, you plant the seeds, and then the seeds grow into things that right. you harvest, and then you chop those down, and then you can put them into recipes and nom nom. Nom nom. nom, nom. It's probably the best description of trade skills that's ever been said <laughs> from our game. So, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, this uh, question is from Sarnis. Will <laughs> Will you ever eat a hot pepper again? <laughs> um, this just did. Let me tell you something. That was one of the worst things I've ever done. I felt horrible. I feel I feel 100% now. I feel really good now. It was rough but, before. Yeah, no, it really was. Like uh, That was not an act. I was not trying I, to be funny or entertaining. I don't like, think I've laughed that hard in a long time. Dude. Either. Like, have you <sighs> even heard me laugh like that I, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. You were like a little child. <laughs> maniacally laughing at all of our pain. Like I had real pain when I when I just had all of it in my mouth and I was like, I can't believe I have to swallow this. It it was awful. Don't give me that face. No. I was no, gonna give me that, that face. Neither of you stop it. Sorry. Head out of the gutter. All right. When I had that in my <laughs> okay, uh, it was it was it was really rough. Uh, I would never do that again. No, I will never eat another pe pepper again. I eat them all the time, so I don't mind. Jalapenos, sure. I love jalapenos the and habaneros. sandwiches, but a habanero or ghost chili, forget that. But I did have a lot of fun with hot pepper gaming. Oh, is that morning. why that cool. milk was here? Yeah. Yes, because we all ate habaneros. About the warm milk. Yeah, we <laughs> just keep it here. It's a carbine thing. It's Don't worry about for it. For funsies, no big deal. Uh, uh, this is uh, from Napjack. Uh, Frost, why why is scientist your favorite path? It's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For the scientist is not my favorite path. I, I would say it's a toss up between uh, like I keep going back and forth actually. Like I really like the settler, and I really like soldier. Uh, soldier is just more combat, so of course I'm gonna like that. Um, the settler is just fun because I can build stuff out. Plus you can spawn in a vendor at some point in time. So if you're in a dungeon and you want to spawn yeah. one in and then like repair all, all your gear, super convenient. Yeah. So I really like that. Um, so I yeah. It's not that I. Here's the interesting thing, actually. I want to say this. Like some there, I don't meet many people that are like, that like all four paths. You'll meet people that are super fans of, you know, I love the scientist and I love the explorer, but I kind of hate the other two. Um, that's a usual thing because there are playstyles, and usually people fit into these playstyles. It's right. ba based on the uh, Bartle types. Um, so, yeah, I mean, th that's where that stuff came from. Um, so that that's why I kind of like that stuff. I'm not a big floor person, yeah. So all right, kinda not no, fair job. enough. Fair enough. We've we've discussed that yeah Ad thoroughly. Nauseam. Yeah, but <laughs> at <laughs> nauseum. Um, so uh, we're gonna okay, go ahead okay. and do one last question and then get to some uh, some sweet giveaways. Uh, this question is from Ace uh, Lion twenty three. I think that's Ace Lion. Ace Lion. Lion. How would you decorate your house in game? <laughs> uh. uh Go for it, Let Jim. me take this one. Right. I am very excited about decorating my house. Let me tell you, I want to. Do you like um, the Sims? 
I do. I, I, a little bit. I, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I liked it at first. I liked the idea okay, of it. Okay. I like to set everything up, and then I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Uh, my, it's me. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I mean? play the Sims. Exactly. The I don't like to play it. I just like to set things up, and then I'm done. Okay. Um, I am very excited to decorate my house. I think I want to become an interior director. De de designer? Even? Designer. Interior designer yeah. or decorator in Wildstar. I want to go to different people's housing plots and help them create a badass house. Okay. That's cool. what I want. I want fun things fun things in my house. I want it to look cool. I want it to be epic. And probably, uh, since I'm Dominion, it's going to look a little, like, not evil, but, like, evil. Mm, like that gothic architecture. Yeah, that refined kind of look. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm going straight up metal, of course, so it's going to yeah. look pretty heavy dragon influenced. Basically, mm -hmm. if it looks like it should be on the cover of a Cannibal Corpse album, I'll probably uh, like it. Sorry. It's all right. Well, just, it's okay. It's all right. You just need to calm down, okay? Calm it's just down. game. It's fine. Just, what was that noise? I you sounded died. like a baby raptor. I died. Didn't Hello. she sound like a baby raptor from <laughs> Jurassic Park? A little bit. Yeah. I was so upset. You know uh, when he cracks and cracks yeah, and makes like, come on, little one. Come on. Yeah. It's you. Talk about. <laughs> oh, there's so many dudes right now. Oh, dude. You're getting wrecked. Actually, you're not doing bad. Yeah. That was pretty good. Oh. I thought you were getting wrecked. Come here. Oh, man. I don't know. That sucked. Good stalker. Like, yeah, he just got away. The, uh, stalker's cool. I like melee. Uh, it, it's it's. Uh, I wanted to go stalker, but I don't know. I just don't think. Uh, I don't think I got it. You can do whatever you want, Tony. Yeah, you put it to your mind. Your Thanks. Play with each other. Put your mind. Yeah, to we're, it, dude. We're gonna get together and we're gonna make uh, some some pretty uh, lucrative money lucrative. off of those off of those motivational posters. Let me tell you. We are going to inspire hundreds. No, they saw me. Ooh. I was getting out of there. Pro tip, by the way, uh, just to throw this out there, you'll notice what I did. If I take, I take falling damage if I fall off that bridge. Right. Um, but if you're smart about it, when you're jumping, you can actually use a movement ability like the Double leap or the stalker has pounce or something along those lines, and it kind of cancels the amount of fall damage that you have. So if you're halfway through that fall, just use that ability, and you'll land safe and sound. Hell yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll fall and then you'll break your leg and then die. That's not good. No, it's not good. Um, on Twitter, from Samantha Morris, took cooking breaks from Wildstar to cook uh, paleo diet, uh, oh, no processed food, healthy. Uh, thank you, Sam Morris. That is really cool. Definitely a good thing to point out. Oh. If you're doing a marathon, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Maybe take a break every once in a while. Take a yeah. walk around the block, stretch. We want you guys to be healthy. You know, we want uh, we want uh, healthy gamers and uh, and and take care of yourselves. So uh, stretch it out. You know, ah, nice uh, nice yoga stretches, right? I died again. I, uh, you died. Oh, that I pull! That was a good pull by that warrior. <laughs> so, I don't yeah, know if you guys saw that. I did not. Uh, that was uh, I was running away, and I'm like, no, don't wanna, and they pulled me back in. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you almost died. Oh, you're they're chasing you. Yeah, watch out, bro. Get away. See, that I just took slick. fall damage. Uh, yeah, so. but you f took fall damage and then fell right next to a bunch, <laughs> of, <laughs> a bunch of dudes <laughs> where I was trying to leave. Uh, so that was a bit rough. That was really good. Hey, guess what time it is? Giveaway time. time. Giveaway time. It's giveaway time. That's not a song it's the time to it's give things away. You guys are a little bit like a, like a couple of their older time. years. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, well, who, who's, who's the man in the relationship? I think he might have to be the disgruntled man. Yeah, Sorry, that's probably Tony. true. No, it's no. fine. This is, I don't like this. It's You're the, the giveaway time. <laughs> it's the giveaway time. Uh, now I'll be the, your okay. disgruntled child. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sucks. Nothing's cool. <sighs> All right. Die. We've got our first prize for this last giveaway of the day. Uh, it's going to be one of these sweet shirts, a Wildstar shirt. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um... And that prize is going to be going to, again, the way to enter, all you have to do is comment. talk in the chat. Just comment in chat on Twitch, and uh, and you're in. You're in like Flynn. The winner for the shirt is Gar Sam, G-A-R-R-S-A-M. Gar Sam, congratulations. You're a winner. You're a winner. We'll be contacting you and needing your physical address. We need to know where you live. We need to know where you live. All right, the next up is going to be uh, one of these adorable little Roused Hour plushies. We do not have many of these left. Uh, we did. Cute. They are. They are. We we did get a, a few of them to uh, 
to give out during uh, during PAX East. I couldn't, it was some convention. It was so some, long ago. Yeah. It's all a blur. Yeah, it's all a blur. So we uh, we we did have a lot, and now we don't. And uh, so now these are kind of these are kind of priceless uh, because we don't have very many left. But this one. You don't have to worry about uh, getting one because you have one on your way. S4 Mev, S4 Mev, congratulations. You are getting a Roused Hour plushie sent to you. I like that. I like pointing, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just pulled up someone's name, but they weren't following us on Twitch, so I had to pick another person. Oh, no. It's so sad. And that person almost won the Mac Daddy Supreme. If that person would have just clicked follow. They would have had it. Isn't that frustrating? Shame them. No, no, that's so not. messed up. That's <laughs> that messed person's going to hate themselves. Just know <laughs> that if you have been chatting in chat and you're not following us, it probably was you. And I skipped over your name. That's so terrible. Uh, definitely follow us. And uh, real quick, before we do this last giveaway, we are going to be here the rest of uh, the all, all day tomorrow. And all day Monday, doing and all forever, kind yes, and forever, doing live streams. Uh, tomorrow morning, we have got Yogscast coming uh, into the studio. Well, they're not in the studio, but they're calling in to the studio, and we're going to be playing with them uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we've got Bajira, and he will be coming into the studio. Very, very excited about Bajira coming in. Yeah, uh, he is also a healthy gamer. Very much promoting that health, fitness, and gaming. I love, I love that. And then Monday we'll be streaming. All these streams, the morning streams are uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then the afternoon would be 2 until uh, 5. So on Monday we have, uh, Monday morning is Mind Crack and Pause on Pause. And in the afternoon we have Sevidus. And once again, I'm going to try and get those... Um, those uh, original Wildstar scores signed by uh, Jeff and the entire uh, orchestra for tomorrow and Monday, but definitely on Monday you will have those ready to uh, ready, ready to be able to win those. So that's pretty damn cool. That's a that's kind of like a, I don't know. I think it's a really cool prize. So uh, so definitely tune in for all of that action. And uh, if you have if you can and you want to pre-order Wildstar, go to Wildstar Online. Dot com and pre-ordered game. Hop in now, get all those goodies, and uh, have another like day and a half because uh, Wildstar launches June third. That's next Tuesday. Get your thirty-two hours in. Yeah, That's, you're damn right. Get your thirty-two hours in. All right. <laughs> There's people in in uh, Twitch chat. Oh my God, I wasn't following. You gotta follow Wildstar. We are here for the last prize, the Mac Daddy Supreme. You are getting the Logitech mouse, mouse pad, keyboard, headset, and the for the fifth prize in this one prize Mac Daddy Supreme package, the deluxe edition to Wildstar. What the hell were we thinking? This is a huge prize. What the hell? Why? I I don't know what I was thinking. Who came up with putting this? this me and Carrie from <laughs> from uh, Brand. What were we thinking? This prize is huge. You know who's getting it? Do you know? I don't know. I'm I writing know. their name. I'm writing their name. I see it. Their name. The person who's getting the Mac Daddy yes. Supreme all sorry. day one. I what just the murdered hell that are you doing? I'm sorry. I just what the hell are you doing? Dude, I chased him down. You just ruined my whole thing. You do this every time. I just murdered him, dude. Well, guess what? Your time to shine has passed. You shouldn't have died so much, right. and you would have had more time to shine. No. Right now, it's my time to shine. All right, all right. I'm in my Oprah mode, and you're all struggling right. with you this. You get a sorry. car. Sorry, Oprah mode. Go ahead. And the winner of the Mac Daddy Supreme. I've lost all motivation for this. Keep going. Congratulations, Anne's Monkey. Asian Monkey. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> clearly Asian Monkey, and I screwed that up completely. As Asian Monkey, <laughs> congratulations. You are our winner of the Mac Daddy Supreme Prize for this part of the Wild, uh, Wild Star Countdown to launch stream. You're the last winner. That's pretty sweet. Um, we're going to be contact. Thing. We did do the damn thing. We're going to be contacting all of our winners. Congratulations, guys. Don't worry. We've got four more huge segments of streaming going on. Once again, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, Monday afternoon. The uh, description, the whole schedule is right below in the Twitch uh, comments uh, or the Twitch schedule. Just go and scroll down the page and you can find the entire schedule right there. It's also on the forums uh, and on the website. It's everywhere. Check it out. Find the schedule. Tune in to watch all your favorite uh, your favorite web celebrities. Web celebrities. Web celebrities. Web celebrities. No. No. <laughs> it's not a word. It's a word. I like it. I like it. 
Tune in to watch all your favorite web celebrities because they're going to be here playing Wildstar, having a good ass time. Ass time. <laughs> Sorry. No. Sorry. No. Sorry. No. Sorry. Monica. It's been fun, Monica. What do you, what do you, what do you think? What are you taking away I'm today? I'm trying to kill this one dude so that we can get the mask. Oh, we got one well, coming back in though, so that's good. Yeah, look, seats right there. Yeah. I'm helping. You're helping. Good job. You see, what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm like wrapping things up here, people. Yeah. Oh. Dude, it's three four now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's three four. Okay. Well, damn it. Let's watch the end of the match. What the hell? Yeah, dude, we're coming back. It's, it's doing good. I love it. That was the answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a good time. Uh, I just follow the guy with the mask, so I feel like I'm doing something. That's good, though. I mean, if you're providing him backup, that is uh, that is definitely an important part. That's d good s uh, strategy. Oh, snaps. I am by myself right now. Um, oh, please no, you're stop. not. There's people here. Jump, leap, dodge, oh, move. We're good, bro. We got gotcha. you. Oh, oh. Smash. Oh, this oh, is good. no good. CC to death. Oh, oh Damn, God, where'd brutal. everyone go? Yeah, it was rough, man. Yeah, uh, oh my God. almost uh. getting there. We'll see what it, what it is. A moody, a moody mask has been stolen. Dude. That's not good for you. Uh, by the Exiles, it's great for me. Oh, is that what it just said? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Dominion. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. We're moving listening. a mask. See? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Dominion are moving a mask. So they're both, we're both moving a mask right yes. now. Yes. So. Oh, I see him. Uh, right. Oh. Okay. Blurred. So okay. we're going down. Stolen by oh, no. And the Dominion just stole one, too. And they stole it back. Damn, dude. Stillsies. Where are they? In the middle? Messing around. Sort of. That's Stalker. Gosh. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and finish this match for you guys. It is close. It's 2-3. Monica Lee is in there helping. Doing, doing no help. You, nope. You're in the middle. Uh, if, there were, if there was anyone standing in that telegraph, ooh, they would be so burned. If there Ooh. was anyone. If. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Uh, hey, I'm just, you know, trying to provide commentary. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm trying to wear this mask wearer down. Uh, I think maybe move him closer. Oh, I got it. Oh, not you. Snaps. I'm getting there, but I can't move and play at the same time. That's fair. I'm that trying all my face. damnness to just wear as much energy off of this guy as possible, but it's, uh, nah, he's yeah, got backup, dude. He's got way too That's much backup. Game. Okay, yeah, he, oh, this could this be the game. Down, it's running, he's running it in. I don't think he's getting stopped. Oh, there he is. You gotta stop, stop him. him. Stop him. Jump in there. I can't. You gotta do see what you oh. have to. Oh. Who is? Get oh, in. No. What just happened? Oh, that's it. Where did those people that's come from? I did level up. No, at least I got that. Don't shake your head at me, dude. I'm, sh Dude, I've been shaking my head at you all day. Uh, <laughs> that was really bad. Oh, I killed one person. Go team. Hell no. yeah. Doing it. <laughs> it was really bad. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, we're having more streams, Ugh. more Wildstar countdown to launch tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, Monday morning, and Monday afternoon. The morning are, are from uh, 10 to 1 Pacific Standard Time and one or 2 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. Monica Lee, thank you so much for joining thank us. You thank you. Thank you. It's been a hell it's of a fun. time. Yeah, we learned a lot about lore, about yep. cosplay, about getting into the industry. We had some good Q&A. Uh, we had updates from Cougar some Hourly. Fun impressions. Uh, yeah, some, some fun impressions. impressions. Some voiceness. Some yeah. PvP. Yeah. yeah, it was a it was a very it was a variety show yeah. today. I liked it a lot. So be sure to tune in. We've got a, a lot of heavy hitters coming up as well. It's going to be a lot of fun in the next couple days. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, again, more awesome giveaways. So be sure to tune in for that and follow all of our social media channels on Twitter, twitter.com slash wildstar and, uh, and uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash wildstar. We're going to be giving away a lot more on Twitter and Facebook tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good day. It's yeah. going to be a good day. Very excited about it. Very sad that you'll be leaving us tonight. I'll be in the area. You could stop by. Okay. Okay. Sure. You could stand outside. Yeah, you could you could hang out outside. <laughs> Don't think about knocking though. <laughs> Stay at least five feet away. It's for bringing it up moist. Thank you oh, guys no. so much for watching. My name is Tony Ray. If you have any questions for us, uh, like uh, we we did have a comment on here. Uh, the thing that sets Wildstar apart for them was the uh, the communication with all the devs. Uh, any dev that has a Twitter is on their Twitter quite a bit, and I, I like that a lot. Yeah. You, um, so if you have a question for any of us devs, uh, you follow one of us, and we pretty much follow all of each other. Uh, you know, uh, at Stephen Frost, at Tony Ray, and uh, you know, we we love talking to you guys about Wildstar through Twitter. So uh, hit us up for that personal connection. 
Monica, thanks again for coming. Thank you. Really appreciate <laughs> it. See you guys tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with Yogscast. Adios. Wildstar, a deep, sprawling space adventure set on the mysterious planet Nexus. This isn't just another sci-fi MMO with pretty colors. It's a completely new frontier. Know what else? The gameplay is fucking awesome. Plain and simple, Wildstar's combat kicks ass. Aim, dodge, sprint, and double jump your way into glorious combat nirvana, where things like position and movement really matter. Gear up, put them in your sights, and explode your enemies. Oh, yeah. But after those epic battles, you'll need a place to kick it. So we've made player housing ridiculous. Customize anything your twisted little brain can imagine, and invite your friends to bask in the sheer majesty of your galacto-fabulous space crib. Mmm, take it in. And speaking of customization, it goes way beyond player housing. We let you personalize everything. How you look, how you craft, how you fight, how you adventure, and best of all, how you roll. Think you got the skills to pay the bills? Wildstar's battlegrounds and arenas let you take on other players for casual thrills or some serious competition. And in the open world, mark and hunt down your rivals for that sweet, ultra-satisfying gank. Then there's war plots. Epic 40 versus 40 battles with fully customizable death fortresses. And by the way, you can level up entirely through PvP. Maybe you're more into some old school adventuring. We've got you covered. Did you say epic storyline? Yeah, we get that too. One second, you'll be exploring a creepy Elden laboratory. And the next, you'll throw on low grab boots and super double jump to an ancient ruin. In adventures, groups make choices and explore multiple paths through the caretaker's sadistically elaborate simulations. Or maybe you're ready for the next level. Wildstar's dungeons can take you there, with epic bosses and gameplay mechanics you won't believe. Then there's raids. We turn them up to infinity. Seriously, they'll rip your face off. Parkour. Can I be honest here? All this stuff is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more, lots more, and we're just getting started. So what are you waiting for? Wildstar will be here soon, and it is full of mystery, adventure, and pure, unadulterated awesome sauce. The only thing missing is you.